Nea Cheng. Wearing jersey number five, our guest player, Aldina Zainidinova Alieva. At number 10, Katrina May Tolentino. Number 12, Jamanea Ferrer. And at number 22, Cherry Rose Luna Libero. Number 13, Denise Michelle Lazaro Revilla. Head coach, Mr. Oliver Alan Almadro. Presenting our PLDT High Speed Hitters. Team captain wears jersey number 12, Rhea Katrina Dimaculanga. At number 3, Mika Irene Reyes. Wearing jersey number 4, Juliana Marie Samonte. At number 10, Tony Rose Basas. Number 11 is guest player from Russia, Elena Samoylenko. At number 13, Del Palomata. Libero, number 8, Kathleen Faith Arado. Head coach, Mr. George Pasqua. This is match number 12, preliminary round. For Choco Mucho, you've got your usual starting five and uh, Coach Oliver Amadro, no change up at the center position. Jen Ferrer is still gonna be there. Dina Wong coming off the bench again today for the Flying Titans. In the meantime, for PLDT, they're gonna need production from some of their starters. Uh, Basas was in double digits versus Army. So was Del Palomata and so was Fiola Ceballos uh, and you know, a few others. So they're gonna need to step up today if they are to bounce back after that loss against the Cool Smashers, ish. Of course, uh, we are witnessing the same starters for both of these teams from uh, their last games. So we'll see how well they're gonna uh, perform in today's game. Absolutely, every game is important. Set for one, just about to get underway right here at the Phil Sports Arena, Pasig City. Getting a little dark and cloudy outside. Um, could be the chance of rain, but that's not gonna put a, that's not gonna dampen the spirits of the fans inside the venue. Jem Ferrer will set it up. And there's a little push from Alieva. Free ball to start things off. Chocomucho gets another crack at the offense. Down the line, it's good for Odina Alieva. Jem Ferrer going to the reinforcement right off the bat. But tallying her first points, uh, one of them, probably 20 points shot a day or 30 points. We'll see how long this match is gonna be. And yeah, she's coming off a 27 point performance that was a four set win versus F2. Mika Reyes delivers, coming off an 11 point performance. She is getting pretty consistent from the field 39% efficiency for Mika Reyes in that loss against Creamline. Absolutely, that's uh, been her go-to, the B-quicks and the A-quicks. She's been very consistent at that. And of course, Rhea de Makulangan acknowledging that she's uh, producing that kind of output for PLDD. Great pass by Alieva. Another broken play here, Samoy Lenko is short. Oh, there were a few instances against the Cool Smashers. I saw Samoy Lenko getting frustrated because of the defense of the Cool Smashers, and it seems like she's not, she didn't start off on the right foot here today ish. Well, she cannot afford to be frustrated today because, as you all know, both Denton Lazaro Revilla and Alieva have been defending well yeah, for Chocomucho exactly. all, to, all conference long so far. Oh, but Nika Reyes right on cue ish. Back to back points for her. Yeah. Again, another big quick set from Rhea de Makulangan to Mika Reyes, this time targeting that long zone one area. That's a, a go-to. And the master na talaga ni yeah. Mika Reyes. Hindi na siya masyadong uh, tumatarget sa very short area of the opponents. Chance ball for the Flying Titans. <coughs> Del Palomata with her first point of the match. Again, Palomata this time around from the A quick naman this time, Rhea de Makulangan really seeing that Service. kind of blocking that Chocomuch is showing so far nice. in this game. Palomata coming off a seven point performance. Uh, she also needs to step up here today. She is 
extremely capable of a double-digit performance without a doubt as uh, Mikarea sends that serve outside. Yeah, Mika Reyes and uh, Palomata, Eric, as you all know, uh, the two best middle, middle blockers yeah. of the Invitational Conference that just ended two or three months ago. So we'll see uh, how well they're gonna uh, play for for PLDT rather in this tournament and we'll see if uh, they still uh, will be able to defend those awards. Basas, yes, as we check in with Alexis Dinsai. I got to chat with the Capitana of Chocomucho and Bea de Leon shared to me what it's like being complete. She told me, if you need a block, we have Pongai. If you need a pocket of composure and stability, we have Des Cheng. If you need creative gameplays, we have Jem. And if you need blocks, we have Micah and also running sets. And if you need world-class experience, we have Odina Alieva. Mahirapan man sila mag-training sa dami ng rotations. Having a total of 16 players with unique abilities gives them the advantage to fill in all the missing gaps, to be creative when it comes to gameplays, and to remain unreadable and mysterious to other teams. Let's go back to set one to see if five titles will utilize their team chemistry and give a shot at taking the momentum. Thank you, Alexis. Des Chen just scored and tied the game at 4 all. But going back to that report, Bea de Leon's right. And one of the biggest additions to this lineup is Micah Ortiz. Uh, great experience from college to uh, commercial leagues. Uh, and, and she's going to be a great addition to the lineup of Choco Mucho Ish. Absolutely, and of course, uh, the national team duties that uh, she's played for the country in the past couple of years as well. I think she's been added to Choco Mucho because uh, Maddie Madayag is still not 100%. Yeah. Uh, Ogansanya is still not 100%. So those running kills and those block points are what's uh, needed for Choco Mucho. Uh, the services of Mike Ortiz is very well needed. A rare Spike from Dimakulan and Pierce Cherry Lunag. Virai with the up. Back row, Samoylenko. Rejected after that. Excellent defense. Chen and Luna combining. That's Chen after a top spin hit earlier that scored a block point for Des Chen. Well timed block here. Teaming up with uh, Cherry Lunag. Really. Uh, reading Samoylenko in this game so far. Uh, I think they've practiced and, uh, you know, the the scouting of Chocomucho has focused on Samoylenko. There was a check ball called by the lines judge. Lumer Pajarillo, I think, is going to reverse his call. He initially awarded the point to Chocomucho. We'll take a look here. It seemed like there was a block. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe not. <laughs> Top call there. This is from a different angle. And it happened right in front of Lumer Pajarillo. I think there could be a touch. Uh, yeah. The fingertips. Again, from a different know. angle, yes. Yeah. So the call is reversed. The point awarded to PLDT and Del Palomata. Uh, that's why we have the benefit of the doubt as well for our referees. That's why they call on the uh, linesman if they want to double check if the call is right or not. I can't wait for the PVL to implement the uh, challenge rule here. They were supposed to do it at the start of the season, but the equipment isn't here yet, although it's, I, I believe it's been paid for. Uh, Samoylenko sends it across. Ferrer back to Nuna, cross court. Passas with the up. Here comes Samonte. Jules on the attack. Revilla passes. Alieta cross court. Yes. Wow. She absolutely loved that set from Jen Ferrer. That delay that Jen Ferrer does whenever she sets to the opposite pin or the open pin, that's what she does best, really. Talking about Jen Ferrer and Alieva uh, tallying another cross court kill for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Game is tied at six as Nuna sends it outside. Lead us back to PLDT. Yeah. Nunag in a hurry that time. <laughs> <laughs> Coming off a six-point performance, Cherry Nunag, who will celebrate her birthday on Saturday. And she will turn 30 years old, Cherry Nunag. In the meantime, Rea de Makulangan, uh, the veteran, did not score offensively, but she obviously was a big part of the offense of PLDT. Good people and fans expect Jeff Ferrer to score points like that? Well, the answer for me as a fan of 
women's volleyball for so long is yes. <laughs> We've been seeing her do that since her collegiate days, so it's not really a shock and a surprise that we see Jen Ferrer with those kind of plays. Here's Ferrer to De Leon. Arado with the pass. Samoylenko, I think she even stepped on the attack line as well. She did. No argument there from PLDT. So Take a look at the replay. There it is, Terry. She stepped on the line, and that's a good call there from our referees. One point lead for Choco Mucho, 8-7 over PLDT, set number one. Two attack errors versus PLDT. That's what hurt them early in this first set. That's why Chocomucho is up by one as Samonte. I think she did she hit the net. Another unforced error this time caught against Jules Samonte. No argument there from her and from Coach George Pasqua. That's gonna be three attack errors already for PLDT early, and uh, it gives Chocomucho a two-point lead. Good Jen pass. Jemperer Eric really targeting the short uh, attack line of BLDT. Just to disrupt. Yeah. Get for for the viewers, the fans watching and listening, as you take a look at this attack by Samoylenko. What does that do if you if you serve short? Yeah. And why does she do that? No. Uh, the strategy is to take out at least one spiker of the opponent. So uh, that's uh, the strategy of Coach Oliver and any other coaches uh, in the world if they want to really take out an opponent, uh, a spiker at that. Alieva is blocked. Got Tolentino on the attack. Birai was set it up to Samoylenko. There's Revilla. Alieva saves it. Dimakulangan, combination play. Basas with a kill. Basas coming off of the combination play from Rian de Mokolaman. Coach George Pascoa and PLDT asking for a double contact earlier from Jem Ferrer, but not given. <laughs> Chinchin Basas, that's a, uh, the first clean hit from her today. Good recognition from the veteran setter de Mokolaman. Basas with two already. Alieva. <laughs> Targeting the back row, and she gets it. Well, I think she heard me uh, when I talked about a clean hit. <laughs> that was what that was not the best of sense from Jem Ferrer, but still, uh, Alieva with a clean hit. At deep na lang yun eh, pero she still targeted that zone one area, the very long one. And Alieva, she may not be the tallest reinforcement here as Samoylenko attacks, but she is very athletic. She knows how to move. Take a look there. Oh. From the back row, delivers another kill. Back to back points for Alieva. Striking from the open pin, from the pipe, from the opposite pin. Talking about this girl here, Odina Alieva, the 32 year old Uzbek Azerbaijani who has played everywhere, <laughs> literally everywhere. She's played in Turkey, she's played in Brazil, in the US. So a lot of experience and exposure here. That's a good find for Choco Mucho That's right. for this conference. Basas with three points. She has already surpassed her output versus Cool Smashers. She only had two points in that game. Today she has three already. That's what we talked about early, earlier. No, we uh, have to see the output uh, that Jules and Basas have shown us in the past conferences. No, that they really contributed a lot. And if they want to win this game against Choco Mucho, they really have to yeah. duplicate those kinds of outputs. Ferrer. Goes back to Alieva. Wow! Alieva <laughs> is on fire! 
What output are you talking about? Sabi ni Alieva. I can be as consistent as I want myself to be. And look at that, Alieva from the pipe again with two blockers right in front of her. And her timing is so good. So five good. points, five points already for Alieva. Top scoring for either team. Dimakulangan, back set, Basas. She has three points. She's rejected Arado with coverage. Samoylenko, blocked by Tolentino. Samoylenko again, going up speed. What a save by De Leon on the Palomata dump. Cheng is blocked. Great effort by Chin Chin Basas at the net. Another point for Chin Chin Basas. That's a good presence of mind for you. She saw that the set was a bit low and already right there on top of the white tape of the net. So good blocking positioning there for Chin Chin Basas. And Coach Oliver asking Jem Carrer to talk to your spikers. If you want to take the second ball, just talk to your spikers so that they sila not going to get it. or if they are set. Jem Carrer going to Nunag this time. Jerry Nunag down the line. Jerry Nunag from Jem Ferrer. Really, the trust is there for Jem Ferrer. She goes to the open uh, spikers. She goes to her middle blockers. That's uh, what she brings to the table. No? The the ball distribution. Yeah. It's very much needed for this Choco Mucho squad. There's so much variety. As you see, Samoylenko. It's been a quiet start for Samoylenko. Only her second point in the game. She liked that set. Earlier, I saw her asking Rea Ferrer in the middle of the rally to actually set the ball a bit higher and a bit close to the net. Uh, this time around, she got that from Dimakolangan and she scored that point for PLDD. Elena Samoylenko out of Russia. <laughs> Again, Nuna from the from one side to the other attacks the Libero Virai and scores. Jem Ferrer going to a running set here again to Cherry Nunag. That's, I think, the second or the third time uh, Nunag scored a running kill for Chocomucho. And what a great pass as well from Denton Lazaro Hivilia. Two point lead here for the Flying Titans. Des Cheng with a great serve. Palomata looking very active today. Catalentino from the back row. Arado with the up. That's a little too strong. Samonte. That's outside. Again, another unforced error here from the attacking area. Attack department, rather. From BLDT. They really need to minimize those errors because a lot of those sets really are excellent coming from Rea de Makolangan. Only a single block or no blockers at all. They have to adjust if they want to score a lot of points from the attacks. Three point lead for Choco Mucho. That service just outside for Des Cheng. Just the third unforced error for Choco Mucho. Five unforced errors already for PLDT. That was so close, Eric. <laughs> I think if we already have the challenge system, then probably Somebody that, yeah, that could have been a line ball call. So, yeah. Del Palomata with the serve here. Good receive, good pass by Des Cheng. Cherry Nunag sends it outside. No block touch. Cherry Nunag with an enforced error. But Jem Ferrer is really trusting her today. A yeah. lot of uh, balls being set to her in this opening set. Uh, well, they gotta take advantage of that. They have the perfect pass, so really they gotta activate their middle blockers early on in this game. Oh, two different calls yeah. here, Eric. One nice judge called line ball, the other called out. <laughs> so, Lumer Pari, your first referee, will talk to both lines judges to determine and make the right call. There's the conference. One line just was saying it was uh, right on the vertical line. Yeah. The sideline, while the other judge saying it's past the baseline. So those are the two functions of the two different lines judges. And Bloomer Parillo sides with the down the line lines judge. Let's take a look here. And if we can see it for ourselves. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> right on the corner. So now we're 
tied at 15. <laughs> Palumata will try to repeat. That's well out. <laughs> but it goes outside. Choco Mucho leading by one, 16-15 over PLDT set number one. Big matchup here between two teams tied at one win, one loss in the standings. Choco Mucho coming off a win versus the Cargo Movers. Meantime, the high-speed hitters are smarting off a loss against the Cool Smashers. So either one win, one team he'll, here will get a you know winning streak, while the other will sustained two straight losses we will find out later but this is an equally matched team well actually most most of the teams here are safe for army who's really struggling in this reinforced conference but almost all the teams here ish are equally matched that's right uh, matchup nga na to, no? talaga, every position yeah. talaga pantay and talaga, uh, on paper they really can fight it off with a lot of these teams in this conference Pedro de Leon with great timing Puts away an over received, and it's a two point lead for Choco Mucho. 17 serving 15. Samoy Menko, not a very good pass. But Nicolaes made something out of nothing and scores again. Great connection there between Demokolang and Nicolaes. That was a risk uh, Reyes took. The pass wasn't so uh, good already but she still opted to go for Nika Reyes that's really what preparation does no? the connection really it improves over time Nika Reyes with three points good pass Alieva through the double block <laughs> she did not find that Basas and Nika Reyes teamed up in front of her for the block she squeezed that in she saw uh, that Mika Reyes did not penetrate that block properly. A kind of, uh, she was a bit late in that block. Alieva so far outplaying Samoylenko of PLDT. She has six already in the game. Samoylenko only with two. <laughs> Catholic Pino hammering that down, cross court hit. But take a look at that set from Jeff Ferrer. Only a single block coverage against. Uh, Chin Chin Basas of PLDT. Great showing so far here for the game changer, Jem Ferrer. Mika Reyes, that's going to be wide. Oh, no, it's actually on the line. So, Mika Reyes. Again. This probably the only, right now, the only high speed hitter that's keeping PLDT within striking distance here. She has four points already. Yeah, alongside Chin Chin Basas, uh, they've. Uh, scored a lot of attack points here in this opening set. Basas with three. Free ball for PLDT. Samoylenko off the block. Ferrer back set. Capolentino with the push. Samonte with the up. Here comes Basas on the attack. Rejected by Alieva. What a save. Mika Reyes yet again to the rescue. Five points for Reyes. It's a one point game. Mika Reyes. Eyes on the ball. <laughs> she did not stop there. Nakita niya, uh, she really had to stay there. Kasi nakita niya that Choco Mucho was scrambling for the defense and rightfully so, a point again for Mika Reyes. First time out for coach Oliver Almagro will listen to the Flying Titans. Okay, now, nangyayari sa atin, pag bumabalik sa atin ng bola, we're in a hurry. Ganon din, Jem. Don't be in a hurry in setting. Hindi baling mataas para makaguelo tayo transition eh. Okay? Now, yung coverage natin, nandun yung coverage natin. But ang importante, tawag ka agad and you spikers, you have to call out. Do you understand? Now, don't hurry up the pass. 
Meron tayong strong fighters, maximize it, okay? Cut cross, go, 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 go. I want to see. Thank you. Thank you. Same instructions here coming from Coach Oliver Almadro. First, do not hurry. The doc talking to Jeff Ferrer, uh, just time it. Uh, to your middle blockers and when in transition just call out your middle blockers and your spikers at the open pin and the opposite pin and of course at uh, wag madaliin kasi pag minadali mo matataran pa rin yung teammates mo Jules Amonte with that's gonna be her third error in the set Choco Mucho with a three point they get a two point lead here and you're looking at Odina Alieva, the Azerbaijani reinforcement of Choco Mucho. Mika Reyes playing like a reinforcement today. <laughs> I mean, six points already. She scored just almost as much as Alieva of Choco Mucho, outscoring Samoylenko so far as Fiola Cepalos have to check in for Jules Samonte, who's been struggling today. Perfect description right there, Eric. Playing like a reinforcement today is Mika Reyes. Now Reyes coming off an 11-point performance. She's she's already has six, and we're just in the first set. Des Chang into the net. That's going to be four touches against Chico Mucho, and just like that, and BLDT ties the game at 20. Mika Reyes with a loaded serve uh, that brought Chang to that level of difficulty in spiking uh, resulting to an off system set so we'll see if Mika Reyes will load up her serve here again Ferrer sets it up oh she wanted to go back row to Alieva Alieva sends it over underhand and it's wide PLDD after back-to-back -back errors by Choco Mucho now up by one, and the crowd goes wild as Dina Wong uh, checking in for Jan Ferrer. Same setup here for Choco Mucho. The latter part of each set, it's Dina Wong playing for uh, the Flying Titans. Just like in that game against F2, we'll see if it's going to work this time around. Des Chen off the block. Yes, game is tied at 21. Right on cue, Dina Wong. Going to Des Cheng, tying his first set at 21 apiece. Des Cheng, kagad, no? Using the outside block of Chin Chin Basas. Good strategy there. Dino Wong, two points, and came off the bench in all sets, all four sets if, of that win versus F2. Could have been outside. Sipalios picking it up. Samoylenko. Yes. Oh, Samoylenko, that's just her third point of the game. Samoylenko targeting uh, zone 5. Uh, Peya de Leon wasn't able to defend that ball properly. That's in between Alieva and Peya de Leon. So it's a good target for Samoylenka in that last sequence. Basas and Dumakulangan will sit down. Eli Soyud uh, checks in for PLDT along with Wendy Ansimana who came off with 10 excellent sets in that loss versus the cool smasher is Soyud with eight points, played in the first, second, third, and fourth sets versus Streamline. Oh. Nuna delivers. Cherry Nuna. This time around, in front of the setter, scoring for the Flying Titans. It's against Del Palomata, one of the taller middle blockers in this conference. Nuna with three. The tie game with 22. Oh, great receive by Arado. Samoylenko. That's picked up by Alieva. Oh, um, miscommunication there between Tolentino and Alieva results in a free ball for PLDT. Samoylenko. Lazaro is right there. This time, Alieva against the triple block. She has nowhere to go. <laughs> triple woman block right in front of her. Take a look at that. In Samoylenko, Del Palomata, Eli Soyut. Wow. What a block. <laughs> Monster block right there. What does an attacker do against something like that, Ish? I think she has to take a look at uh, the blockers right in front of her. 
Kung dalawa pa yung nagbablock sa kanya, tatlo or isa lang. She still powered that a ball uh, just like how what Ellie saw you did here. Pero isa lang yung blocker na nasa harap niya. So she took advantage of that and a check ball point for her. Set point here for PLDD. This is double set point for the high speed hitters. Timeout for Choco Mucho. We'll listen in. Kapag wala tayong gumagalaw, steady lang kasi dito, tatlo bumablock dito eh. Okay, kailangan magpagalaw tayo. Hindi pa pwede yung A, tapos merong 5. Again, this, wag tayong magmadali sa receive. You understand? Atake tayo, Maika, meron ka dito. First line ka pa, may Udina, may Des. Des, palo ng palo. Hindi pa sa pachika, palo. Ako, cover kami. Ay, mga brother. Ay, what is this? Fight it! Coach Oliver does not want his middle blockers to spike in front. Gusto niya umikot sa likod or mag-running, mag, mag back or running so that uh, the middle blocker of PLDT would have a hard time reading where uh, Dina Wong would go in this play. We'll see if they go for a quick hit here or they go to Des Cheng or the pipe attack to Odina Lieva. The latest addition to Choco Mucho, the veteran Mike Ortiz. Sees action for the first time and gets a touch right there. A chance ball for Choco Mucho. Warm goes back to Ortiz. Cross court. Samana unable to receive it properly. So one set point is saved. And immediately, Coach George Pasqua will call a timeout. Excellent strategy by Coach Oliver Almado. Bring in Ortiz, have her attack twice, and we'll see what happens. That's why uh, he's inside the court right now. That's what all Coach Oliver wants, the running hits uh, for Choco Mucho. So what are you doing here, Ish, if you're Coach George Pasqua? Coach George Pasqua, just asking for a perfect pass here. Sabi niya, wala tayong ibahin. Kailangan isang magandang pass lang. Same play tayo. We don't need to do anything uh, spectacular, anything fancy. Let's just start this point off with a perfect reception. But as we all know, it's easier said than yep. done, especially when Des Cheng is uh, the service line. But let's talk about Dina Wong and Michael Ortiz really performing well in that last sequence. Talagang in a play nila yung instruction ni Coach Oliver. Go for a running kill. And that's what they did. Di makulangan pasas back in for PLDT. Si Pagos! Oh! What a block! Dina Wong, Michael Ortiz combining at the net for that rejection. Two set points saved. We're tied at 24. Wow, I just got some kills there. It was Dina Wong who blocked that ball. Wow. So far, so good for the strategy of Choco Mucho and Coach Oliver fielding in Dina Wong in the latter part of this set for blocking. Great pass by Arado. Back row, Samoylenko. Yes! Oh, Lena Samoylenko. PLDT needed that point and she delivered. Samoylenko uh, acknowledging that there were three blockers right in front of her. Pero, uh, hindi sabay sabay eh. Parang naging quietis type yung block nila. Pero nakita yun ni Samuel Lenke, no? And targeted that very long zone 5 because uh, Alieva, Edina Wong, and Michael Ortiz were not in sync with that block. Back at set point. This is set point number 3 for PLDT. Heather Ginoa, oh! service specialist, puts it into the net. So another set point lost by the high-speed hitters. Well, I still got to give it to Heather, you know, she went for it. She took that risk. She wanted to uh, serve heavily, pero that's really the risk that you take. Eh. Sabi nga ni Coach Oliver, di ba, go big or go home, <laughs> you really got to risk it. Uh, lalo na kapag ganito yung score, no? Hindi pwedeng mag-play uh, safe ka. Samoylenko, back row. This time, Ortiz is prepared. Alieva with a tip. Reyes. Oh. oh, beautiful placement. Mika Reyes puts PLDT back at set point. This is set point number four. Mika Reyes telling us and the fans here, I cannot just do a lot of powerful attacks. Now, I can also 
do some drop shots when it matters the most. And she saw that Alieva was blocking her in that last sequence. And talk about Rhea de Makolangan. The risk and the courage to go for Mika Reyes when Alieva is right in front of her. Good pass by Chang. Wong sets it up. Alieva cross court. Yezaki Rai with a beautiful dig. Back row, Samoylenko. Another excellent defensive play this time by Tolentino. Oh. Alieva didn't like it. Free ball here for PLDT. Ceballos. Alieva with a pass. Wong with a one-two play. The dump attempt. Mika Reyes. Alieva attacks. Cross court. Ceballos with a dig. Ceballos will attack. It's just a push. Got Tolentino. Alieva. Rejected, and Mika Reyes, amazing first set for her. Wow, what a scramble here at the latter part of the opening set for PLDT. Take a look at that. Talagang nilunod sila ni Alieva, pero they still waited for the drop shot and they still tried to block that ball and they were successful, Eric. We're still checking if that was Mika Reyes or Chin Basas, but either way, Terrific end to a long rally, PLDT. Ikanga nila kumapit, and they delivered a 27-25 first set win to George Pasqua. Twenty-seven, twenty-five. PLDT, a nail-biting win in set number one. They had four set points, and uh, they lost three, but were able to pick it up in the last one. In courtesy of Chin Basas, Chin Basas would have, was awarded that point in the end. That battle at the net. We'll take a look at highlights of the first set. Ish. Set one highlights. Chokumucho really going for the, a lot of uh, powerful attacks in that uh, opening frame. But PLDT did not give up. Defended well in that last part of the opening set. A lot of those hits from Alieva were defended by either Ceballos or the Libero. And of course, Mika Reyes. What composure uh, showed here in the first set. Asking for the balls from Rea de Makolangan. And she scored. She blocked. She, at, uh, she had a top points in that latter part of the opening set. And Dina Wong, of course, almost exclusively going to Alieva in that last part of the opening set. So, nabasa masyado ng PLDT in that uh, opening win for PLDT high speed hitters as we take a look at the statistics of that set number one set number one win for coach George Pasqua and PLDT attack point 17 for PLDT 15 for Choco Mucho three blocks apiece for Choco Mucho and PLDT an ace for PLDT none uh, coming from Choco Mucho and opponent errors dikit din tayo dito no seven given by PLDT and six given by Choco Mucho and goes to show you how close this matchup is between the high-speed hitters and the Flying Titans. Uh, only one error separating both teams, but it was crucial the, uh, the times that the errors were committed by PLDT. Although they did pull off a win, they need to be more conscious uh, about trimming down these unforced errors that end up as free points for these guys, the Chocomucho Flying Titans. That's right, but what's good about uh, PLDT is really the composure especially at the end of that opening set win. Uh, they were up 24 to 22 already in that uh, frame. But Choco Mucho, nung pumasok si Dina Wong, yeah. hinabol eh. Pero the composure was there. They, they weren't rattled and they stayed in the game. They stayed fo focused. And a lot of those balls, hinihingi ni Samonte, hinihingi ni Reyes. Samuel Lenko was ready for the set. And that's what you like if uh, you're a competitive team, no? And Coach George Pasqua really did not hesitate to just trust his girls in that opening set. Dina Wong is starting in set number two for Chocomucho. Chance ball for PLDT. Dimakulangan to Reyes again. Oh, Mika Reyes. Eight points already. 
This wow. is after an 11-point performance in that four-set loss versus uh, Greenline. She already has eight, and we're just in set number two. Yeah, at the start of uh, set number two, yes. she already has eight points. So, sabi mo nga kanina, no? She's playing like an import today, like, an, like a reinforcement. So, that's a good sign for Coach George Pasqua. And, of course, for Rhea de Makulangan as well. Yeah. Wong sets it up. Alieva. Virai has been doing an excellent job on the floor defensively for PLDT. Samarilenko starting to pick up the pace. She has five. Rhea de Makulangan perfectly timing that set to Samarilenka. Nakita mo, Nunag was hesitating whether to block Samoylenka or Mika Reyes because Mika Reyes has scored a lot of yeah. attack points already for PLDT. That's really a contribution na mahirap tapatan. Great start for the high-speed hitters. Two unanswered points. What a dig by Samoylenko. Samonte, she needs to get going. And that may help her out. Samonte, that's going to be her second point. Samonte this time around, an attack point for PLDT. How about that? Di makulangan. First point, Mika Reyes. Second point, Samuel Lenka. And this time around, it's Jules Samonte. A lot of options here uh, so far for Rhea de Makulangan. That's a really good sign if they really want to win this game against Choco Mucho. Let's check in with Alexis Dinsai. PLDT High Speed Hitter, or we can also say PLDT High Speed Tower. Mika Reyes admitted to me that it was a series of unforced errors that led them to trail behind Dreamline last game. And that is why Mika reminded her team to be patient when it comes to defense, especially to level with Choco Mucho's prominent coverage with regards to Yaya's confidence in PLDT. With the reinforcements around, sabi niya, kayang kaya namin makisabay. Lalo nang si Elena Samulienko, ang pinakamatangkad sa kanilang lahat. Even if Elena's height accustomed her to high sets, nakituwa ni Yaya na grabe ang effort ni Elena mag-adjust the pin in Coach George's system. Let's see if the patience of the high-speed hitters will pay off again this set too. Thank you, Alexis. Well, they were not as good in keeping their, you know, unforced errors low, but they did pull off a win like what uh, my partner Ish was saying, composure. They stayed composed despite the run by Choco Mucha. What a dig, this time by Arado. She's back on the floor. Wong will set it up. Tolentino rejected by Basas. This time it works. The last block attempt, it went outside, but Basas, a little smarter now, able to angle her arms to keep the ball in play. Take a look there. That's a good penetrated block for Chinchin Basas. Uh, Kat Valentino uh, really needs to uh, readjust here. That's a single block coverage already. Uh, as we uh, know her, no, talaga, pag isa lang yung blocker sa tapat niya, ilista mo na dapat yan eh. It's Kat Valentino, yeah. one of the powerful uh, opposite spikers that we have here in the country. But it looks like she's struggling a little bit so far in this game. We'll see if she picks it up uh, as the game goes on. Nuna with her fourth point. It's a one-point game. Three serving four, set number two. A rare miscue, a misreceive there by one of the best liberos the country has ever seen. Open Conference Best Libero in 2021. Uh, UAP Season 77 Rookie of the Year. Season 81 Best Libero, but that time around, Cherry Luna got the better of Kat Arado. Kat Arado was sidestepping side to Samonte's area, so that's why it was hard for her to pass that ball perfectly. Reyes. Oh. <laughs> Mika oh. Reyes is just on automatic right now. What is it? Nine, nine points for Mika Reyes already. They haven't adjusted to the kind of attacks that Mika Reyes is uh, showing us today here, talking about Choco Mucho. But I think uh, si Yeye Reyes, siya yung nag-aral mabuti dito sa game na to, no? Uh, going up against Choco Mucho, inaral niya siguro talaga where the defense uh, holes are uh, dito sa side ng Choco Mucho. Well, Des Cheng on, on the other side found a hole in the defense of PLDT. Take a look here, an off-speed attack. It's can't get any simpler than that. Very simple attack at the last second, opting for a drop shot. A top spin hit, rather. Five all, set number two. Samoylenko. Got a save by Des Cheng. Des Cheng attacks. Great block by Del Palomata. Del Palomata saying, not this time. Des 
And that was a single block coverage. But an off system set from Alieva giving Cheng a bit of a harder time to adjust me there. Four points for Palomata already. Palomata coming off a seven point performance, but Basas is a revelation. After only two points against Screamline, she has five already. And we're just in set number two. One two play for Dina Wong. Yes! It works for Dina Wong. A good call there. I don't think that was a good one. That's a that's a good call from the referees. That's a point already for Dina Wong. Yep. It touched the floor already. <laughs> <laughs> you like the determination of Nyesa Virai. <laughs> she was saying good. <laughs> well, us volleyball players, athletes in general, sometimes we can be actors, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and really good actors at that. <laughs> But there's a replay, eh? so <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wala tayo laban doon. Wala nang lusot as Des Cheng serves it into the net. Uh, another free point for PLDT. And high-speed hitters can send us to our first technical timeout with a point in this sequence. Good serve. That's an over-receive. And then Palomata with a kill. She's going to go all over it all day if you give her a regalo yeah. like that. I mean, 6-3 and she jumps. She's athletic. PLDT up by 2-8-6 over Choco Mucho. Set number two. Switch to Signal Postpaid for more super loaded bonding moments. Get free three months and more when you subscribe today. Call 8888-5555 now. 86. Uh, Micah Ortiz will cut the deficit down to one. Micah Ortiz, she, were, she was fielded in that latter part of the opening set. This time around, Dina Wong going to her from an A quick. And this time, duplicating Mika Reyes' type of attack. Two points for Michael Ortiz coming off the bench today. Samonte is blocked. Samoylenko, back row with a push. Oh. Cherry Luna, what hang time. It seemed like she was on the way down, but seeing as the push was delayed, she hung there just for a split second longer. Take a look. She goes up and she... <laughs> Alieva was already on the way down, but Nurag was still up there. That was the kind of block that Reyes and Basas did against Alieva in the last point. Oh, oh. almost a replay of the last sequence. Samoylenko rejected again. Wong with the push. Nunag with the pass. Chance ball for PLDT. Samoylenko goes strong this time and gets a kill off Michael Ortiz. Samoylenko going for... A powerful cross-court hit from the pipe. Yeah, she didn't want any more of those soft pushes because Nunag's there. Yeah. She got blocked twice. Alieva teaming up with Nunag. It's a hard tower to pass through. So that's a good recognition for an adjustment for Samuelenko. One point lead for PLDT. Alieva cross-court. That's her specialty is. Really? Uh, her specialty of the house. Take a look at that. Dina Wong going to Alieva. Perfectly timed there. That spot has been uh, defenseless for PLDT whenever it's the middle blocker that's defending for them. But if it's Camarado, they're having a hard time scoring in that area. Talking about Choco Mucho here. Nine all. Not a good pass by Samonte. She sends it over. Chance ball here for Choco Mucho. Nunag. Yes. Oh, oh Cherry Nunag. Working on both ends of the floor. She has seven already. Four here in set number two. She's having the time of her life here. 
going for blocks, going for attack points. And it's a challenge that she's right in front of Mika Reyes. Nuna coming off a six-point performance in the four-set win against Choco Mitchell against F2 as Tolentino blocks Sabonte. Wong back to Cat Tolentino off the block of Sabonte. That's the Cat Tolentino that we all know. Single block coverage, automatic point for Choco Mitchell's Tolentino. That's a great set from Dina Wong. It's, uh, it's a plus for Choco Mucho that uh, Nunag is scoring for them. That's Kasi right. talagang binabantayan ng uh, PLDP yung sets sa middle blockers ng Choco Mucho. Kasi nakakapuntos eh. So the open spikers, the opposite spikers of Choco Mucho will really have a field day attacking uh, for Coach Oliver Almagro and for the Flying Titans. Ceballos checks in for Samonte. Attacks and hits the net. Didn't get off. It didn't bounce off the block. Take a look here. Ooh. Or maybe it did. But the call made by Lumer Pajarillo is an error off the attack by Ceballos. So Choco Mucho now with a three-point advantage, 12-9. Mika Reyes, Revilla right there for the dig. Mm -hmm. Arieva with a push. Ceballos again. <laughs> oh. Wow. Cat Valentino from an attack point earlier blocks Ceballos from the bench. Great timing here. Teaming up with Cherry Luna with that block. As we take a look at that replay, Kat Arado could not defend that ball properly. That was too fast for her. Fourth point for Kat Tolentino. Um, she scores three here in set number two. The last one was a kill block. Four-point lead, the biggest lead for Choco Mucho in the match. One-two play for Dimakulangan. Alieva. Arado was right there. Samoylenko, back row. Revilla unable to pack it up. Samoylenko again from the pipe, targeting that same area where she's been scoring a lot uh, in this game so far. It's then then Lazaro Revilla in that area. I think it's really just powerful for her. A lot of power and strength in that attack. BLDT working on a three-point deficit here. 10 serving 13. Wong, Alieva, <laughs> just on the line. My turn, says Medina Alieva. Giving Chocomucho a four-point lead here in set number two. There's the seam right there. Mika Reyes was a bit late to the block. Uh, Chin Chin passes on the opposite pin. Alieva now in double digits. First player to do so. She has 10. Chance ball here for Choco Mucho. Revilla will set it up for Tolentino. She's blocked by Basas. Tolentino goes to Cheng. Oh, there's a net touch going to be called against Mika Reyes. Choco Mucho, this is their biggest lead of the match at five points. No argument there from Ceballos and Mika Reyes. Take a look at that replay. There, on oh, the there way it down. It was Ceballos on the way down. Not, uh, not Mika Reyes. Samoylenko trying to go cross court. It's wide. Good read there by Des Chen and by Denton Lazaro. They're now up here. Six points against PLDT. Technical timeout here. Set number two. We will be back. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. Second set, 
And Choco Mucho leading by six here. This is their biggest lead of the match. But PLDT up one set to nothing after winning the first set 27-25. Coach Como on our screens earlier. Alieva. Oh, Arado. Wow. <laughs> Alieva loving that hit. Coming from Dina Wong. And she targeted Arado. <laughs> Take a look at that. An off system set from Dina Wong. But what power she uh, showed us so far in this game. Never mind the block, never mind the defense of PLDT in this game. Seven point lead for Choco Mucho. Samoylenko again targeting Revilla and getting the better of Dende. Samoylenko again targeting that same area. She hasn't gone to zone one uh, and the, z the middle zone for uh, the attacks here. But Dende Lazarus there. Uh, she's really just having a hard time controlling the ball, perhaps, from the attacks of Samoylenka. Nunez with the pass. Tolentino with the dump. What an angle back to Tolentino. That was really something special. A badly needed um, output here for Tolentino. That's really what you get if you set that ball to Tolentino. Single block coverage, a lot of... Uh, Attack options for Catalentino. The drop shots, the powerful options. Five points for Tolentino. Samoylenko down the line. Wong picking it up. Alieva sends it to Chen. That's dug up. Samoylenko cross court. Yes! Again, Samoylenko. Same area, same target. Take a look at that. Rea de Makulangan going to their reinforcement. She knows that she's getting hot here in this game. But they've got to get some stops. They're still down by six, despite the highlight plays by Samoylenko. It's still a considerable <laughs> deficit, but Rika Reyes starting to work on it. Rika Reyes now with 10. That's going to be her first ace of the match. The first player for PLDT in double digits, Mika Reyes. Mika Reyes. What a performance so far here in this game. We all know how capable this uh, PLDD team yeah. uh, when it comes to catching up uh, huge deficits. So Choco Mucho cannot afford to relax here. Matikareas with a service error. That's going to be her second unforced error. And the lead is back to six for Choco Mucho. Tolentino with five. She has scored four here in set number two. Samoylenko has started to pick up the pace. She has nine points already. Six here in the second set. Samoylenko again. Ooh, that was too low, and she knew it. Samoylenko is having really a hard time with those off-system sets. Far from the net, uh, a high set. From the back, they hit up and Shamag adjust. Timeout by coach George Pasqua will listen in. This is now the biggest deficit against PLDT, Ish. They're down by seven. What do they need to do? The first one, two things that they need to address. Well, firstly, in the first set, they were blocking a lot better. Uh, Coach George Pasqua asking his team to adjust in, uh, in terms of blocking. And I kita niya na Dina Wong is going for uh, a lot of quick sets, pero hindi naman kagad mamatay, no? And binibigay kagad dun sa pins. So, kumakagat naman itong middle blockers nila. Dun sila nahihirapan in this set number two. Okay. Samoylenko starting to chip away at that deficit, but it's still pretty big at this stage of the set. The PLDT down by six. On the other hand, Eric, uh, Dina Wong is uh, applying what Coach Oliver wants 
her to do uh, to wait for your middle blocker to approach properly and saka mo ibigay at the last second yung set sa open pin spikers mo opposite pin spiker mo Des Cheng what a smart play there on the dig Samuelenko that's dug up by Arieva Cheng with a push Basas was right there back row for Sepanyos Alieva, that's going to be too strong. Yeah, that's why. That's why. Uh, Alieva, as athletic as she is, uh, that was an awkward approach. Try na lang siya mag add dip. Last off system play. So, two points chipped away from what was once a seven point deficit as Pompei Gaston getting ready to check in, replacing Dez Chen. Basas. A pretty consistent server. She has no ace so far, but she had a record number of aces in the Invitational Conference. Let's see if she can repeat that here today because PLDT needs, desperately need the points. One indicator if uh, a player is a really good server is the attempts, actually. Because if you're long in the service area and you have a lot of attempts, it means you uh, can't get a service ace, but you can receive receive your kalaban in the service area. Palomata is rejected. Dimakulangan. Samoylenko. What an angle. Samoylenko. Wow. This time going for a down the line hit. We've rarely seen that kind of attack here from the reinforcement of PLDT. And Dimakulangan almost exclusively going to her in right. set number two. So there's a timeout from Coach Oliver Almadro. Let's listen in. Kung gusto mo, papuntahin mo dito para sumama ko, tsaka mag-fight. Kung gaya, pag nasa iyo, power na tayo. Okay, now, I want a good pass. Huwag natin madaliin. May advantage tayo, first line si Dina. Now, pag nagkabali ka ng bola, tawag agad ng middle mo. Ready ka agad tayo sa coverage. Do you understand? Huwag magmadali sa pass, ha? Huwag magmadali. Come on. Hey, pull away, pull away. Hey, one, two, three, five, eight. Coach Oliver Almadro, same instructions here. Wag mo madaliin uh, yung pasa, wag mo madaliin yung set. Eh, timing mo doon sa middle blocker mo. And let's see if Dina Wong will go here for a running set because it's Mike Ortiz in front. Uh, Dina Alieva can do a pipe attack here. You have Ponga Gaston in the open pin. A lot of options here. And she's also a front row player here. She can dump the ball if she likes. Good pass. Wong back to Ortiz. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what we're talking about. Is I called it. <laughs> Coach Oliver's instructions right there. Go for a running kill para ma-divide your block. Tina mo, Del Palomata went for a block here. Doon kay Alieva and kay Pongay Gaston. Leaving a single block coverage right in front of Mike Ortiz. And you cannot do that uh, in front of Ortiz. That's her specialty of the house. And that stops a three-point run by DLDD. And lead us back to five for Choco Mucho. 21 serving 16. Oh, by the way, Soyuz and Semana back on the floor for PLDT. For blocking purposes here, let's see if it's going to work. Not a good pass there by Arado. Soyuz. Wong will go to Alieva. Oh! It just slipped through her fingers. And obviously, there's double contact against Odina Alieva. Napangiti na lang si Odina right there. That's a rare error from the reinforcement of Choco Mucho. But still, they're uh, at a four point lead here. The latter part of set number two. There Michael it is. Ortiz. Oh, excellent timing, excellent position by Viola Ceballos for the block against the much taller Michael Ortiz. Good adjustment and good read there by Ceballos. That's Coach George Pasqua's instruction earlier to the open spikers of PLDT. Kapag naiwan kayo mag-isa, just read the ball properly. Do not hesitate to block the cross court hits because uh, the running spikes of Mike Ortiz dun kumukunta. So well read there by Ceballos. Back row, Samoylenko against a single blocker. This time, Lovilla picking it up. Alieva attacks oh. into the net. And just like that, it's a two-point game here. After being down by as many as seven, PLDT clawing back in set number two. She pivoted her body early, way too early in that attack. Uh, 
the blockers were waiting for that down the line hit and medyo mababa yung contact from Alieva and she knew she made a mistake in that attack. Coach Almadro calling his final timeout. We'll listen in. So there's no one here. Do you saw uh, Ted? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Now, Dina, ha? Huh? Okay. Sinisingle pa lock pa rin si Maika. Sumasama yan dyan. Nag-aabang na kay dalawa. Now, first line ka pa. May advantage ka. May ano pa kay Kat. Maika, tumatapok nga nun. Dalawa, umatas naman yan. Dito, pwede. Nangintindihan. Dina, first line. One good receive, one good pass tayo, ha? Eh, labang sa balik ka ng bola. No problem. Let's go. Let's go. Coach Oliver Almadro asking for a one good pass here. Again, Mike Ortiz in front, Dina Wong in front, Alieva in front. Let's see if they're uh, gonna do the same exact play that they tried to execute earlier. A running set, an open set, and a pipe here for Catalin Dina. We'll see. BLDT on a 6 to 1 run. And there oh, it is. Mike Ortiz <laughs> again. She's going to go to girl for Choco Mucho when they need a point. That's a perfect set and a perfect pass from Des Cheng. And a set from Dina Wong. That's a short run set. That's a good variation here from Dina Wong. Choco Mucho needed a stop and they got it. Palomata! She was above the blockers, and before the blockers even jumped, Palomata was already hitting the ball. Jody Prado will check in for the first time today. Too easy. Too easy, Eric, here yeah. for <laughs> Palomata. That's an open block <laughs> for somebody, for the 6'3", Del Palomata. Prado, coming off a four-point performance, started in sets three and four against the Cool Smashers. This is where the maturity and the exposure and the patience of PLD is showing. No? Kanina, it's 2013, pero we are at 20 to 20 here. <laughs> Although, right away, Kato Mentino makes it a three point advantage. You've really seen that from Kato Lentino so far in this conference. That powerful back row hit. She has mastered that all throughout these years. and. She is showing us that she still can do it. Three-point advantage for Choco Mucho. Wow, beautiful push. Really great hands for Samoylenko in that sequence. Graceful tip right there. She surveyed the floor, and she found the opening. Didn't need to hit it hard. She saw that there were three blockers in front of her. It was the bigger blocker in Catalentino, and Cherenuna, and Alieva. And the variation this time around for Samuelenka working for PLDT. Crunch time here. Yeah, it's a two-point game. Dimakulangan and Basas back on the floor for PLDT. Dimakulangan taking her time. Almost all of the eight seconds right there. Dina Wong, Alieva against two blockers. Nieza Pirai with an excellent dig. Samoylenko. Oh, just outside. Yeah. This is going to be three seconds for Joko Mucho. They are asking for a block touch right there, but hindi ibibigay dito sa PLDT. Set point here for Joko Mucho. Timeout here for PLDT and Coach George Pasqua. No more timeouts remaining for both teams. That was the second and final timeout for Coach Pasqua. No timeouts left here for both of these teams. They're gonna battle it out the latter part of this set. Coach George Pasqua asking for a quick hit, asking for a throw out at the last second. We'll see if Freya de Makulangan delivers. They go to Mikareyes. That's dug up by Dina Wong. Back row, Alieva. Blocked by Basas. Kept alive by Wong. Battle at the net. And the tip. Wong by Sebalos. One 
set for a save. Two more to go for PLDD. As Rachel Ospero on your screens, one of the newest additions to the lineup. And last played for uh, Cherry Tigo crossovers in the Invitational Conference. Take a look at the effort there defensively by PLDD and Cipaglios using her athletic ability to get over Dez Cheng. The patience, the patience showed right there in that last sequence for PLDT. And as I say that, Eric, <laughs> Sabayos giving set number two away to Chocomucho Flying Titans. They lose this 22 to 25, Eric. <laughs> Courtesy of a service error by Sabayos. So that's very unfortunate. They saved one, but they gave up one. So we're tied at one set apiece after Chocomucho taking set number two, 25-22 against PLDT. We're tied at one set all. After PLDT winning set number one, Chocomucho answering back with a win in set number two. Let's take a look at the highlights. Set number two highlights. That set belonging to Chocomucho. Bagging a lot of block points, a lot of attacking points from Nunag, from Kat Tolentino, from Alieva. And, you know, PLDT tried to catch up the latter part of that set number two, but Kinulang eh, kinulang. And Dina Wong with a presence of mind. Uh, nakita niya kung sino yung talaga tumatrabaho when it comes to scoring for Choco Mucho. And a lot of instructions coming from Coach Oliver applied here by Dina Wong. And of course, Mike Ortiz, the defenders of Choco Mucho. So that's a really good sign if you're a Choco Mucho fan. But we are tied here one set apiece. First set going PLD's way. Second set going Choco Mucho's way as we take a look at set number two statistics. 15 attack points for Choco Mucho 14 for PLDT. Dikit na naman, no? The block points and the aces, same. Two and one. Uh, opponent errors, seven na nakuha ng Choco Mucho. Lima naman na nakuha ng PLDT. A very tight second set again. And 31 minutes, the duration of that set. In the first set, uh, it was, I think, 33 minutes. So, a really, you know, uh, very well... Uh, prepared uh, Chocomucho and a very well prepared PLDT in this game. But for Mika Reyes and the high speed hitters, again the key will be trying to limit their errors. They, they had the same amount of unforced errors in the first and second sets at seven. They've got to cut it down. They only lost by two. I mean, that three points, 25, 22. So if, if they were able to limit that, and keep it close, they might have had a better chance in set number two. Right, uh, Vince Salentino on your screens watching and supporting his uh, sister from Chocomucho, Kat Valentino. Set number three here, this is gonna be uh, the, the crucial set here, Eric. But Des Cheng speaking to our first referee, Dumer Pajarillo, just clarifying, I guess, maybe their position um, before the start of the third set. And uh, here we go. PLDT will serve first, Rea Di Makulangan will serve for PLDT. There's Cheng with a receive. Cherry Lunad. What a save by Nieza Viral. Chance ball for Chocomucho. Alieva got herself out of position. Awkwardly hit the shot and sent it wide. The set was a bit far from the net. And Alieva was not able to adjust 
in time for that spike. And Chokamu just sticking with Dina Wong here in set number three. And on the side of PLDT, they're sticking with Ceballos in exchange of uh, the serv services of Samonte. Another terrific receive by Des Chang. Oh. That time a better attack from Alieva. Ceballos off speed. Alieva picking it up. Wong back set. Tolentino sends it outside, asking for a block touch. There was, there wasn't anything close to the ball. Too far, too far for Cat Valentino. Ngigile. So a good start for PLDT. This is partly how they started in set number two. They they really went off on a three to nothing run before Choco Mucho turned it around. Oh. On characteristic here for Rey de Bacalangan. You rarely see her with a service error. As we know her to, you know, really serve the ball heavily. And this time around, it's Dina Wong serving for Choco Mucho. Let's see if she does the same trick and the same tactic here. Targeting the short area. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was too short. Though. Too short. <laughs> for Dina Wong out of Minglanilla in Cebu. Went to high school in the University of San Jose Recoletos. And this time you're looking at Piola Ceballos out of Bingawan Iluilo. Gets. No, that was long. So back to back service error for PIDT. <laughs> Ceballos actually thought it was in. She was going <laughs> back to the service area when she heard the call that the serve was out. PLDT ladies could not believe it was called outside. They all thought it was in. <laughs> Samuel Lenko. There's Cheng. That's oh. outside as well. And both teams really off to a poor start here in set number three ish. A lot of errors coming from both sides here. This time around, it's Des Cheng with an attacking error. We've got two service errors for PLDT, two attack errors for Choco Mucho, one from Des Cheng, one from Cat Tolentino. Nicareas with 10 points off nine attacks and one service ace. Which she is, if she has one more up in her arsenal of tricks, Des Cheng picked up by Reyes. Samoylenko, what a cut shot. <laughs> that was a cut shot. Well placed here in front of Des Cheng. She saw that Kat Tolentino and Cherry Nunag were right there waiting for her power attack. So, you know, it's a really good sign as well for Coach George Pasqua. Let's check in with Alexis Tinsai. As we were talking about her earlier, three times UAAP best setter Jem Freire with 20 excellent sets last game is thankful for the support of her co-flying Titans as she played as a starter and played to the best of her abilities. Delving into her fab five days, Jem also was grounded in the support of their fans who believed in them when they were the underdogs in the rankings. Asanata Jem told me that she will do everything to fulfill her role and be a good role model to the persistent young Titans who are working their way to continue their momentum from last set. Let's go back to set three. Jem Perea has not seen action since starting in set number one. Dina Wong, the much taller shutter, she's been giving much better defensive effort at the net for Coach Oliver Almagro. Here comes Samoylenko. By the way, Isa Molde is in the game for the first time for the Flying Titans. Here's a push by Cap Tolentino. What a block, Cherry Luna on that by Amanda. That's a good block. That's a good block coming from Cherry Nunag. Nakita niya, Rhea de Bacolangan was waiting for Palomata to approach. But Palomata was not expecting the, that set. And Cherry Nunag right in front of her blocking that drop shot. Nunag with eight points already. Oh! Uh, but the errors continue. <laughs> Coach George Pasqua, I saw him just pump his fist. That gives them a four-point lead. On the flip side, Coach Oliver Amadro can't help but just scratch his head and try to figure out why these errors are coming in. Is it a matter of fatigue, a matter of complacency? Because those two sets were high-level volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> Molde with her first touch. Samoylenko. Dino Wong was right there. Lazaro Levilla 
to Tolentino, who is dropped. What a start here for PLDT. They are up by five and send us to our first technical timeout. <laughs> Take a look at that replay. Samoylenko and Palomata shutting the door down for Kat Tolentino. What a block there. 8-3 PLDT over Chocomucho in the third set. After losing in set number two, PLDT off to a great start here in the third set. They're up by five, but that's in part courtesy of the errors committed by Dina Wong and the rest of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Chin Basas getting ready to serve. Basas so far with six points. In Samolde. Yes! Okay, Ryan Ceballos with a miscommunication on the floor for PLDT. Down to a four-point lead here is Chocomucho. Dina Wong going to Isa Molde. Scoring her first point here for the Flying Titans in this game. We just saw Janjan -Jan Haboneta, former UP Fighting Maroon. Palomata on a running attack. Yes! Dan Palomata. And that's going to be point number six. It's Del Palomata's time to score those points from the attack. Rhea de Makolangan taking a look at the blockers of Chocomucho before setting that ball back to Palomata. Isa Molde. Oh, Del Palomata just unable to figure out where the ball bounced. And she was turning around. She was, the ball was right on her. Right side, take a look. Palomata was looking at her teammates. <laughs> Pero sabi nga ng mga coaches natin, eyes on the ball always, eyes on the ball. And she wasn't able to apply that. Ceballos. Is there a block touch? No block touch. A lot of block touch calls being argued here in this game by both coaches. As we can see, no, talagang every point matters kasi talagang ayun no sobrang sobrang layo eh pero they're asking for check balls <laughs> three point game palomata block samoy lenko dimakulangan to sepalios with a push patolentino with a dig chance ball for pldt back row samoy lenko with a push again wong picking it up Tang Ponces in the game for the first time, and Kat Tolentino sends it just above the head of Kibakulangan, unable to pick it up, and Chocomucho is within two. Chocomucho from being down as much as six points here in set number three, courtesy of Kat Tolentino, they're just down by two points here, targeting the area of Rhea de Makulangan, who wasn't able to position herself at the right place at the right time, so a good point right there for Kat Tolentino. Much better pass. Del Palomata, dug up by Ponce. Alieva, oh, beautiful touch, but Basas diving for it. Chance ball for Choco Mucho. Ponce, Wong, one to play. Oh. Armando was right there. Here comes Ceballos through the block of Dina Wong. Yes. Coach Oliver did not like that decision from Dina Wong. But on the other side of the court, Coach George Pasqua applauding Dima Colangan for going to Ceballos with that hit. There's a big seam right in between Ortiz's and Dina Wong's block. Sepalios, that's her first point in the third set. She has three in total. Great pass. Wong, Ortiz with the push. That was too high. Dal Palomata picking it up. Samuel Lenko, back row. Block. <laughs> that was either on Alieva or Ortiz. That was Alieva. Alieva with the block against. Samuel Lenkov, PLDT. 
there. She tried to go for zone 5 where Denden Lazo Revilla is, but no go for Samuelenka. Again, Samuelenko. Oh, knocks it in right beside Isa Molde. Bumawe. Bumawe, Agadi to Samuelenko, PLDT. Still going for that area. Rhea de Makulangan acknowledging that uh, Samuelenka's hands are so hot here in this game. 11 serving 8. Wong. Nuna dug up by Nieza Virai. Here comes Ceballos. Through the clock. Yes. Again, targeting the smaller Dina Wong. Ceballos going for the kill here. <laughs> Nakita niya uh, Dina Wong and Nuna were not in sync in the last block. And medyo na criss-cross yung kamay doon ni Dina Wong with that block. So that's a good point right there for PLDT. They're getting the output that they want to see here from their open spikers and Chinchin Basas as well. Alieva, that's a check ball. Yes. Sayang, sabi ni Samuelenko. Pero host George Pasqua calming her down. It's Alieva's turn to score a point off the block. She was in a, the right position for that dig, pero... Uh, his digging hands were not perfectly positioned. Three-point game. Ceballos with a push. Tang Ponce diving for it. Alieva. Yes! Oh! Yes! For Dina Alieva. Uh, Dina Alieva. This side going cross court. It's Kat Arado defending that area. Pero she did not care. She, she just went for it. Went for the kill. Another tally point here for Choco Mucho. 14 for Alieva, one-handed game for Dino Wong. Alieva, what a save by Arado. Chance ball for Choco Mucho, here we go. Dino Wong, Pastor Arado will set it up. Samoylenko through the Nuna block. 16 points for Lena Samoylenko. We've seen a lot of great saves here on the side of PLDT. Again, Samuel Lenka converting a point here for PLDT. And the reinforcements are stepping up ish. 16 for Samuel Lenko, 14 for Alieva. Catolentino. Here's Pasas. Blocked by Alieva. Kept alive by Reyes. Chance ball for Chocolucho. Wong. Cherry Nunag. What? Great defense on the floor by PLDT. Wong, Alieva. There's Girai with a dig. Samoylenko. This time Lazaro picking it up. Alieva dumps it. Samoylenko with a dig. Basas. Yes, there's a solid block again. Choco Mucho. Dunag. Bumba waste a block earlier. She wasn't able to block Samoylenko's attack from the pipe. But this time around, reading that ball very well. Together with Alieva, their reinforcement. No coverage right there from ELDT. They're down by two points here in set number three. They know how important this set is in this game. Dimakulangan, Samoylenko. Wow, finds the opening in between Wong and Alieva. Simple volleyball right there for you. Perfect pass. Dimakolangan opting for a throw out here. And Nunag was a bit late for that block. Samoylenko targeting that area. Mikareas, it's been she's been quiet here in the third set. Only 10 points. So her last score was in the second set. Basas with a push. Lazaro to Molde. Dimakulangan goes to Samoylenko, a little close to the net. Yes, she knocks it in! She did not mind that that set was already a bit close to the net. Catolentino was not able to close it out at the last second. Rhea Dimakulangan going for a shoot set here for Samoylenko. And then, then Lazaro could not defend that ball properly. Back to a four-point lead here. 
for PLDT. 18 for Lena Samoylenko off 17 attacks and one block. Wong goes to Molde. <laughs> Down the line she goes and Lisa Molde will score her third point. Three attack points right, if I'm not mistaken. I mean from Isa Molde. That's a clean shot right there. A side spin going down the line for Isa Molde. Oh, Don't the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Madi Madayak is checking into the game for the first time, replacing Sherry Nunan. <laughs> remember, Madi Madayak, she has not seen action since her ACL injury in the bubble in Ilocos Norte. Can you still hear us, guys? <laughs> so that's why the fans are roaring in appreciation and anticipation of Madayag and her performance here in the reinforced conference. Samuelenko. Pancake save Ooh. by Wong. Molde. Samuelenko blocked by Tolentino. Arado goes to Pasas. Cross court. Tolentino. Picked up by Cepalios. Samoylenko against two blockers. She's rejected by Pato Latino. Palomata knocks it in. Dead Palomata is fired up and why not? It's a four point lead for PLDT. Amazing patience showed here by PLDT in that last sequence. A lot of blocks and touches there on uh, coming from the defenders of Choco Mucho, but Palomata closing and ending that rally. Four-point lead for PLDT as we get to our second technical timeout, 16-12 in the third set. The NBA is back. Catch the live games daily and in high definition via NBA TV Philippines on Signal TV. Mondays and Fridays on One Sports, Saturdays and Sundays on TV5. Hashtag always a fan. Speaking of fans, well, what what team are you rooting for in the NBA-ish? Uh, I love the LA Lakers. I'm a big Kobe yeah. fan. <laughs> I went to his, was it a concert? <laughs> the Black Mamba stuff that he did here i was there so okay. I, yeah i'm a big Co when fan kobe, when kobe made it here as yeah. you saw that one <laughs> with a point unfortunately the lakers struggling they lost their uh, opening game in uh, san francisco versus the golden state warriors they will next meet the clippers tomorrow so that's going to be fun to see michael ortiz samoy menko is a chance ball for choco mucho Wong. Goes to Tolentino, cross court, single lady block, goes outside from Samoylenko, and Tolentino scores. Got Tolentino getting hot here in this game. Samoylenko applauding that point. One versus one here. One and one. Samoylenko perfectly timing that block, but the flick of the wrist of Tolentino in that last hit was on point for Choco Mucho. Eight points for Tolentino as Jem Ferrer is back in the game. This is her first time back after the first set. It's a crucial juncture here in set number three. Good serve. Samoylenko down the line. <laughs> on top of the blow of the right. Again, Samoylenko. Wow, what a great performance here in this game. Earlier, in, you know, in the opening set, she was struggling, no? Nahihirapan siya yeah. to uh, adjust the sets. Pero later on, on here in this game... Only four points yeah. in the first set for Samoylenko. There's Caitlin Duray out of the USD Volleyball Program. Yeah. One-handed dip, not good enough. Uh, 
Nagkalituhan doon si Alieva and Perel. And it's a six-point lead once again for PLDT. Timeout for Coach Oliver Almadro. Take a look at the Samoylenko attack here. Sayang because that was already a passive block touch there from Mike Ortiz. But the miscommunication between Ferrer and Alieva caused that point for them. Timeout here. Jem, nice decision ka. Ganun lang, balik ka. Expect mo na babalik at babalik sa'yo. Jem, activate tayo, ha? Okay, one good pass. Atake tayo, pero may cover. Again, when in transition, expect, expect, ha? Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Enjoy, enjoy. Fight it! Six-point deficit against Choco Mucho. What do they have to work on here, Ish, to get back in the set? Well, they have to defend properly. A lot of those attacks from uh, PLDT going Samuelenko's way, they haven't adjusted so far in this set. So, kapag mayroon silang chances to defend properly and then to convert, they cannot afford a, lo a, lot, of a lot of those miscommunications that they've showed us earlier. So, let's see yeah, oh, if they adjust. What an off-speed adjustment for Sepalios right there. The pass was slow, so she made something out of that. Yeah, ad lib. She made something out of nothing. It was Chin Chin Basa setting her from the back row. Take a look at that. Well, halos wala nag attempt for Choco Mucho. Uh, they cannot afford to do that. Okay, Kundirai rejected. Sepalios, what is your height? Only 5'6, but what a jumper. Fiona Sepalios is. What athleticism she has shown here to us in this game. Jim Ferrer with a great set actually, but you know, the single block coverage of Ceballos was enough for PLDT to score their yeah. 21st point. And Dina Wong together with Kat Tolentino are back here because that substitution has not worked for Coach Oliver. Jim Ferrer back on the bench for Choco Mucho. Wong, Isa Molde, that's outside. Oh, but wait a minute. Luna Parillo gives the ball and the point to Choco Mucho saying there's a check ball on Del Palomata. She, she's saying there was no touch, talking about Palomata. But the linesman here on the side of PLDT also signaling a check ball. And that was right in front of the first referee. Served by Isa Molde. Arado picking it up. Sepalios again. There's Isa Molde with a dig. Alieva. The dump. What a block there. Great timing for Palomata against Ortiz. Back row, Samoylenko. Pang Ponce with a dig. Catolentino. Arado. Dimakulangan goes back to Sepalios. There's a solid block. Dino Wong says, not right now, Fiola. Sepalios block by Dino Wong. And Mike Ortiz, take a look at that in the replay. Oh, it's Dino Wong. But Arado was there. Medyo malayo lang yung pancake save niya, no? Already underneath the net. So, another point here for Choco Mucho. Let's see if they make a run here. Time out here, Coach George Pasqua. any chances burns his first time out even though they're still up by six well he knows that Chocomucho can make a run here if magpabaya sila and of course Isa Molde on deck to serve for Chocomucho a heavy server for coach Oliver so alam ni coach George Pasqua na ito yung rotation na pwede makahabol ng Choco Mucho. Oh, Samoy Lenko drills that in against two blockers. 21 big points after scoring only four points in the first set. She has really turned it on. The consistency for the reinforcement of PLDT here. Talking about Samoy Lenko of uh, Coach George Pascoa. Talagang maraming puntos na binibigay dito. And Dimakolangan really uh, going to her because she knows that 
the hot hands of Samaylenko really working towards uh, a win here in set number three. But a great block here coming from Coco Mucho. Dina Wong with a block against the Bayos. Terrific timing and presence of mind for Dina Wong. Turning around and anticipating the attack on the over-receive. Madi Madayag is in front alongside Alieva. There's a push by Reyes. Alieva blocked by Mika Reyes. <laughs> Reyes de Makolahan teaming up with Mika Reyes for that block. Mika Reyes, that's her first point in the third set. She has 11. Alieva a bit silent here in set number three. And Coach Oliver acknowledging that. He calls for time. Let's listen in. One good pass and defense tayo. Pa padikitin natin niya kung saan tayo abot, get the momentum. Do you understand, girls? Let's get the momentum. Okay? Girls, kailangan natin to put up the intensity. Kailangan natin magsalita. Kailangan to keep on talking. Baka puntos tayo, hindi tayo. Tama po ba? Yan mo na, yan mo lang gagawin. Okay, let's go. That is the final timeout of Coach Oliver Almadro. They are down by seven here. So they've from here on end, they're gonna have to adjust by themselves on the floor and on the fly. Now oh, it's Madi Madayag in front for the first time here for Coach Mucho. Coach Oliver wants his team to do everything in their power to make uh, a string of points here para sa momentum uh, coming into set number four. Let's see if they make a run here. Great serve by Dimakulangan, Alieva. Arado with the diving save. Samoylenko back row. Dug up by Tolentino. One oh. to play. Samoylenko with a beautiful save. Chance ball here for Choco Mucho. Wong picking it up. Lazaro will have to set it. <laughs> Excellent position by Ceballos for the dig. Ceballos attacks. Revilla with another dig. Tolentino. Oh! oh! That was as easy a chance ball as you can get with your PLDD, but the Makurana and Samoyrego let it go, Ish. They did let it go because the Makulangan was already running towards uh, the setter's area. I think she was expecting Samoyrego to dig that ball up so that she could set the ball properly to her spikers. But it's communication yon on the part of PLDT. Reyes, block! Oh, wow! That's a two-woman block working for Choco Mucho. It's Manny Madayag teaming up with Kat Tolentino. They're down by five here, exactly what Coach Oliver wants. A string of points for them. This time, it's Coach George Pasqua calling for time. It's the last timeout as well for Coach Pasqua here. They're down by, oh sorry, they're they're up by five. As you take a look at the total block points, 11 for Chocomucho, eight for PLDT so far. Ogunsanya, uh, Duque Ogunsanya, suffered an ACL injury in the preliminary round of the Invitational Conference. Micareyes, dug up by Tolentino, over-received actually. Here comes Basas against the double block. Alieva picking Whoa. it up. There's a second touch by Madayag. Cepalos, that's into the net. No, according to Lumer Pajarillo, that's off the block. Cepalos will try again. That's dug up by Ponce. Cepalos with the tip. Ponce sends it over with a spike. Mika Reyes. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Madayag and Tolentino. Yeah, yeah. Set point no. for BLDT. Set point. Set point. What patience. <laughs> Um, from PLDT and of course Rea de Makolangan did not mind that Mika Reyes was blocked earlier by Madi Madayag and Catolentino. She still went for that big quick set to Mika Reyes, acknowledging that Catolentino might have been late for that block and she was late for that block. So a good decision right there for Rea de Makolangan. Beautiful serve. Here comes Catolentino. Chance to close it out here. Samoylenko. Yes! She does. Lena Samarlenko with 
Her 22nd point delivers the W for PLDT in set number three. You know, we talked about Samir Lenko earlier if she's going to produce the same output as her performances in their uh, first game and second game. And so far, so good for Samir Lenko. Closing out that set number three for PLDT, 25 to 18. Another set here for PLDT, and we will be back for set number four. PLDT high speed hitters winning that set number three, 25 to 18. They're up here two sets to one against Choco Mucho. And Samuel Lenko working hard here for PLDT alongside Mika Reyes, uh, Rea de Maculangan, Sepalios, Chin Chin Basas. Choco Mucho tried to catch up with. Uh, the efforts coming from Kat Tolentino, Isa Molde, and Dina Wong, but not enough for Choco Mucho in that set number three loss. Of course, set number three highlights, as we can see, a lot of those points coming from the reinforcement of PLDT. Samuel Lenko really showing up big time here for the high-speed hitters and for Coach George Pascua and Rea de Macolangan acknowledging the hot hands of their import. Another win here for PLDT set number three statistics here, Eric, as we can see, 17 big attack points for PLDT and only nine for Choco Mucho. Block points, six to three, lamang naman dito on Choco Mucho, an ace for Choco Mucho, and of, of course the opponent errors, single digits here, five given to PLDT and only three given to Choco Mucho. And that's a big disparity right there. Three errors, PLDT cutting it down below four, and look at how much uh, margin or how big the margin is uh, in, in the third set that they picked up 25 18 is the win and so many more attack points for them as well a lot more aggressive uh, PLDT was in set number three what are the adjustments that will have to be made by coach Oliver Almadro coach Oliver Almadro needs to remind that uh, Samuel Lenko, the reinforcement of PLDT, picking up the tab here for PLDT. Talagang kailangan nilang bantayan at basahin ng mas maayos here in set number four. Itong import, itong reinforcement ng PLDT if they want to have a chance at winning this game against PLDT. And uh, the defense of Choco Mucho needs to step up here. They have to convert a lot of those points on the transition attack. And they have to communicate with the floor defense because kanina a lot of those passive block touches were not able uh, they were not able to defend it properly and convert it to points and that's what they did well in set in that set number two win for Choco Mucho. Let's see if they readjust here in set number four. All right, Choco Mucho must win situation in order to stay alive in this matchup. PLDT only needs to win here to get. And their second win of the tournament in Bashback after that loss against the Queer Smashers. Set Palios is blocked to start things off in set number four. Good adjustment here for the rotation of Chocomucho. I noticed that uh, Catalentino is right in front, right away for Chocomucho. Kanina, she started uh, at the back. Eh. So leaving either Dina Wong or Jem Ferrer in front to block balls for Chocomucho. But as we can see right now, it's Nunag, Alieva, and Tolentino right away in this set number four opening for Coach Oliver. One block point, one attack point. That's how it started for Choco Mucho in the fourth set. Tolentino, Alieva combining for a 2 to nothing run by the Flying Titans. This is the time for PLDT to adjust. <laughs> uh, nagbago kasi ng rotation itong Choco Mucho. We'll see 
how well they're gonna adjust here. And so far, wala pa. It doesn't help that Fiona Ceballos was short on the tip. Three to nothing start for Joe Minucho. This time around, two rotations uh, in front of Ceballos is uh, Kat Valentino. Kanina, it's Dina Wong, two rotations in front of her. That's a big adjustment for her. A terrible pass there from Basas, and Ceballos was in a really bad position there. Very early timeout by Coach Pascua as PLDT unable to answer the four straight points of Choco Mucho. Instructions right there for the reception and for the attacking department right here. Gusto niya mag-adjust sa spiking itong si Ceballos kasi nakita niya uh, na maraming options sa uh, uh, kabila when it comes to blocking. And jo Jonathan Nang of Rubisco on your screens. No cream line today but um, he's still watching, checking out the action. Over received there by Arado. But Nunag unable to put it away. Back row, Samuel Lenko gets a little help with the tape of the net. Oh, oh. That's called out by the referees and by the linesmen. But DLDT asked for a check. Let's see here if there indeed was a check ball. Mm. Looked like <laughs> it bounced off the yeah. net. Luna Pajarillo will give the point to Choco Mucha, but they give it right back off a service error. That's going to be the first point of PLDT in set number four. And they gave it away to PLDT. Pero yun yung gusto ni Coach Oliver kanina, in that set number three loss. Sabi niya, sabi niya kahit saan tayo abutin. Yeah. Just create a string of points para naman meron tayo momentum coming to set number four. And so far, so good for Choco Mucha. Five to one here in set number three, four. You just saw Baji Del Rosario of PLDT on your screens. Another block. Viola Ceballos against the taller Castellino. Let's go to Alexis Dinsai. I asked Rhea Di Makulangan what was the recent challenges that PLDT has faced and she shared to me that it's not the skills because we have it but it's the lack of consistency. Many times naangat kami pero many times na naghahabol kami sa simula sa pool dapat makuha na namin ang rhythm at hindi na ito mapakawalan. With Elena's contributions even if she played from Russia parang Pinoy yung magpapakumbaba niya at pag-adjust sa sense ko higa ni Dima. Let's see if the high speed hitters will take the ball home or will the Choco which are flying titans continue on bouncing back. Thank you, Alexis. Right now, Choco Mucho off to a good start in set number four, and they need this if they want to extend this matchup. Cepalios with the receive. Back row, Samoylenko. Nunag with the up. Jem Ferrer is back on the floor. They go to Alieva. And wait a minute. Yep. Double contact against Jem Ferrer. Yep. No argument there from Jem Ferrer. She knows was a miss set. So a point there for PLDT. Three serving six. Good start here for Choco Mucho. This is the way uh, PLDT started their set number three win. Let's see if they duplicate uh, that kind of performance talking about Choco Mucho. Samoylenko. <laughs> and Dimakulangan almost exclusively going to Lena Samoylenko already. That's right. Where I'm... Where... A lot of points have uh, been come from for PLDT. Sabi right. nila, no? Uh, kapag nag-work naman, don't yeah. change it up. If it's not broken, why fix it? 23 points for Lena Samuelenko. Ferrer to Alieva. Alieva mistimed it. So it's a chance ball for PLDT. Mika Reyes with a dump rejected by Tolentino. Ceballos chasing it down. Viray with an easy over. Oh, got lucky there. Yes, Viray sent it behind Revilla. And Isa Molde let it go thinking it was going to go long. Isa Molde and then, then Lazaro Revilla with a miscommunication error right there from a free ball pass of Viray, the libero of PLDT. And Coach Oliver did not like that. Calls for time. Let's listen in. Oh, 
papaluin ng madiin. Believe me, hindi na niya papaluin, hindi na nakakatalon eh. Okay? So kukuha na lang ng ibaba, kukuha na lang ng katsa. Naintindihan? Girls, we, get, we need to get this point. One good receipt. May advantage pa tayo dyan. Huwag kang magmadali. Jump set natin na kailangan. Coach Oliver from the iterating, when in doubt, just get the ball. You're already there, just and hindi mo naman gusto na bigla na lang babagsak yung ball, and it's inside, or uh, tatama sa katawan mo, and it's a check ball. Nakakababa ng, ng moral yun for the team, and sabi ni Coach Oliver, wag mo lang madaliin, and mukhang pagod na import din ng PLDT. He reiterated that, so we'll see if they make a good adjustment here. PLDT on a 5-1 to one run, make that a 5-2 to two run for PLDT. And Coach Oliver Armando saying in the timeout, we need this point. And the Flying Titans deliver. Samilenko blocked here by Cantolentino, closing out that zone one area. Good point here for Cantolentino, but this time it's Jem Ferrer blocking Samilenko. Dimakulangan to Reyes. It was a little too far from the net. Easy block for Michael Ortiz. Isa Molde sends it to Alieva. One-handed dig for Arado is no good. Alieva in the hot hand here in set number four. She takes Chocobucho to a three-point lead, eight to five. Technical timeout here. We will be back. Here in set number four, Eric Ipan with Ispol Vorosa and Alexis Tinsai. So far, it's been a game of sets here. And when I say that, I mean like it, there's been no team that has, has made runs, at least in the last two sets. It's been you control the set, you win the set. That's how the story has been so far between these two teams. Now you start the set right, you start the set, the set strong. And you're there's a good chance that you're gonna get yeah. that set and gonna win that set. Oh, oh nice push, Alieva, against four arms. This is the time for Odina Alieva to pick up the pieces for Chocobucho. And so far, she's doing that role for the team. And Jem Ferrer going to Alieva here in set number four, trying to win this and force a set number five. Service is long for Catolentino. Alieva already with 19 points. It's Mika Reyes on deck to serve for PLDT. Jem Ferrer has Mike Ortiz in front and Alieva. Let's see how she utilizes her blockers in this play. Not a good pass from Alieva. She gets it back. What a dig there for Mika Reyes, and there's a power tip by Michael Ortiz. That's the focus that veterans have uh, here at conference. Nakita niya, uh, in that regalo, hindi talaga regalo per se, because Samuel Lengo was right in front of her. Kapag nilakasan niya yung palo, kapag ginawa niya yung palo, she was gonna get blocked. So what she did was she tried to control that ball, just a top spin, an angled hit, and that was a good point for Michael Ortiz. 10 serving six. Samoylenko against two blockers, yes. Of course, exploiting that smaller blocker in Jem Ferrer. Andrea Di Makulangan again, a perfect set to Samoylenko. And Jem Ferrer is having a difficulty uh, blocking Samuelenko. 
Basas with six in the game. With the serve. Ortiz, that's going to be wide. Apologizing right away to Coach Oliver and to Jeff Ferrer. Inako, yung pagkakamali. The angle that she chose, I think she did the right decision, but the execution was a bit off for Ortiz. It's a two point game, eight serving 10. Jem goes to Isa. That's dug up. Over received by Chimbasas Samoylenko. Blocked by Ortiz. Molde. Chance ball here for PLDT. Samoylenko down the line, picked up by Tolentino. There's a dive by Sepalio. Samoylenko cross court. What an oh, angle no. for Lena Samoylenko. <laughs> Samoylenko going for a cut shot right there. Twice dug in zone one. So this time around at wow. the third try. These are angles you can only create if you're 6-5. <laughs> and then the Lazaro really was there. Yeah. That was a difficult angle for Samoylenko. But if, just like you said, if you're 6-5, I think it's a bit easier to execute. One point game, chance to tie for PLDT. And Alieva gets a block touch. Another point for Alieva, marking her 20th uh, point here for Chocomucho. They needed that point badly. BLDT was making a run. They're up by two points, 11 to 9. Ooh! Pass over the outstretched arms of Del Palomata. How high can a ball be? for Palomata not to get it. Right? Well, Diba Pulangan was trying to save that ball already. The pass was already going uh, Nunag's way. And Palomata did not expect that Diba Pulangan was still going to set that ball to her. Two straight points for Choco Mucho, Samoylenko. Chance ball for PLDT. Del Palomata blocked by Nunag. Arado. Goes to Samoylenko. Oh! oh. <laughs> a little miscommunication there. Cross the error. Uh, Alieva and Ortiz didn't know who was going to get it. A lot of uh, those instances happened in that set number three loss. Um, passive blocks from uh, their front row blockers. Pero hindi nila na depend sa hanap maayos eh. They couldn't convert it because they weren't communicating properly. That's what Coach Oliver uh, does not want to see here in set number four. And he's saying, communicate, communicate, communicate. There is a block by Ceballos or Nudag. Back row, Alieva. Ooh! Wow! Gumawi! Gumawi kagan! Ito import ng Choco Mucho. Inodina Alieva, Jem Ferrer going to her. And another point for Adina Alieva off of Ching Pasta's defense. 21 points for Alieva. What an outing for the reinforcements here in this match. 26 for Samoylenko, 21 for Alieva. One to play for Gitakulangan, and it's a two point game. Another miscommunication here on the side of Chocomucho. They saw that ball coming. Alieva saw that. Ponce saw that, but still, no defense. See, it was Ponce and Alieva again with the defensive struggle. Nice serve from Del Palomata and from Stolentino. Palomata with the up, the Makulangan goes to Reyes. Chance ball for PLDT. Samoylenko oversees it. And an easy put away for Tolentino. Lena Samoylenko said, mine, mine, mine. But the receipt went over the net and into the waiting arms of Kat Tolentino for the put away. Samoylenko with an uncharacteristic error right there. No liberos inside the court for PLDT. So it was either Ceballos or Samoylenko would really get that first touch for the chance ball. And she knew that that error could not be made. Ceballos, yes, oh. what an answer for Triola Ceballos. Wow. Her points have been few and far between, but they've been emphatic and exciting. Take a look at that. 
spike from Ceballos going down the line. No hesitations. Back to a two-point game. Eight points for Fiola Ceballos on five attacks and three blocks. And that's all off the bench. Nice serve for Dimaculangan. Catalentino blocked again by Ceballos. Deray goes back to Fiola. Oh, Fiola off the block again. Back-to-back -back points for Fiola Ceballos. She makes it a one-point game. The confidence in Ceballos' hits in the last sequences. Really, what an amazing performance for Ceballos off the bench. Earlier, a clean hit down the line. This time around, nakita niya, Nunag and Tolentino waiting perfectly for that block. Pero a check ball and a point for Ceballos. Chance to tie. It's just outside. I mean, PLDT just can't get over this hump-ish. The one-point game and they commit an error. Yes, a hubble sila. Isa na lang ilaman ng Choco Mucho, but they give uh, the lead right back to Choco Mucho. That's not a good sign for Coach George Pasqua. But they, they're right there. Yep. Hindi masyadong malayo yung lamang ng Choco Mucho. And alam nilang kayang habulin with the patience na kailangan. We'll see here if they make it through. And Ceballos again, third straight point. She is single-handedly carrying the high-speed hitters right now. Fiola Ceballos is doing everything from every angle. This time around, from a combination play, Rhea de Mokolangan really has that, you know, that sense of urgency. She knows who has the hot hands yep. for her team. Ten points for Ceballos already. Alieva, cross court. Oh. You gotta protect that angle. <laughs> and they know that. They know that very well. They have to protect the lead. 16-14, Chocobucho up by two against BLDT's second technical timeout, set number four. Let us check uh, on your replies from Twitter uh, about the question from Jody Gonzaga. How many sets do you think this game will have? Right now, it's practically easy to tell. It's either four or five, uh, according to Alden. I think this game will have four sets, and the team I want to win is Chocomucho Flying Titans. Uh, don't forget the hashtag so we can search for your uh, replies online. I'm sorry, sorry. Sabi niya, knowing the capacity of both teams, I think this is going to be a five-setter match between these, between these gi giant teams. Well, hindi, hindi lalala yun, no? it's a possibility. And another tweet coming from Laika, Jane Cuenca. I'm a fan of Choco Mucho since the first time I watched PVL. But I think PLDT will get all uh, this game in three sets uh, because they have great blockers and spikers. But still, go Choco Mucho, do your best. I know you guys can do it. There's uh, Samoy Lenko making it a one-point game. I can't tell if Lena Samoy Lenko is tired or... She's just pacing herself. Uh, it's either she's tired, just like Coach Oliver said in that timeout earlier, or uh, Choco Mucho has done their homework in this set, adjusting to her hits and the sets of Freya de Mokolangan. So it's either of the two. But as we can see, Choco Mucho really hanging in there. Yeah. They want to extend this to a decider set, deciding set. Alieva, locked. Alieva, she's going to try again here. There's a push. That's blocked by Pasas. Two times denied is Alieva. Chance ball for PLDT. Who do they go to? Dimakulangan sets it up. Samoylenko. Yes! Back-to-back -back points for Samoylenko. And she ties the game at 16. Jen Carrera wants to block her right in front of her. And she exploits that perfectly. Take a look at that. Catalentino could not defend properly. Chance to take the lead for the high-speed hitters, 16 all. That's an overreach for sure. Jem Ferrer was still setting it. Samoy Lengo trying to argue her case. But ear setter. Right call or wrong call? A difficult angle from here, but <laughs> let's take a look at the replay. If Jem Ferrer was really going to set it. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. 
What do you it think, wasn't, It wasn't a question of whether Jeff Ferrer was still gonna set that ball. It was a question of where the ball actually was still in that mm -hmm. game. Uh, the ball was still in the area of Choco Mucho, and they already blocked the ball. So that's the right call. An overreach An against overreach, yeah. Samuelenko. Samuelenko trying to get it back. She does. Game is tied at 17. Samuelenko again scoring off of that zone one area. The defense of Choco Mucho has not adjusted here in set number four. She has been going to that area in this set, and they really need to read properly. As long as uh, Samuelenko is in front to attack for PLDT, they really got to defend that area. Isa Molde, wow! Choco Mucho needed that point, and Isa Molde delivered. Isa Molde going for a cross-court kill earlier. A lot of check balls, a lot of down-the-line hits, but this time, a clean cross-court hit from Isa Molde. Molde with five, that's her first point in the fourth set. One point lead for Choco Mucho. Del Palomata on a running attack. She's blocked by Molde. Arado versus Samoylenko. Alieva picking it up. Alieva back row. Yes, through the clock. <laughs> and Choco Mucho up by two, 19-17. Alieva gets it to go. And they're up two points here in set number four, 19 to 17. She asked for that ball, Eric. She asked for that ball from Dina Wong. And she delivered. 23 points for Odina Alieva as Semana was about to check in wearing a mask. I don't know if there's a rule against it, but it will obviously be harder to play with a mask on. Eli Soyud is also in the game. That's the strategy that both go coach George Pasqua and coach Oliver Almadro have explored in this game. Arado asks for it. Chance ball for Chocomucho. Nuna, that's dug up. Oh! Yep, that's the right call. That's the right call. Double violation called against Semana. And both George Pasqua, no argument right there. Semana was running towards the open pin for that set, and then she wasn't able to stop at the right second for Samuel Lego to have that perfect set, and the positioning was wrong. Three-point lead for oh. Choco Mucho. Soyud, standing spike. Wong goes to Molde. Oh. Arado wasn't at the right place. Let's it go. And Coach Pasqua calls for timeout. Isa Molde targeting that same area where she scored earlier. Another cross-court kill for the UP Alum Isa Molde. 21 to 17, timeout here for George Pasqua. That's the last timeout of Coach Pasqua. Remember, he called the timeout at 4 0. At the start of uh, set number four. So he's gonna have the high speed hitters are gonna have to work on this four point deficit uh, from on from the floor. Not a lot of instructions this right there. LA Rivilla, a husband of Den Den Lazaro Rivilla, checking out the action. It's George Pasqua just wanting her squad, uh, his squad rather, to adjust to that cross court hit of Isa Molde. Gonna be a free ball here for Chocomucho. Let's see what they do. Wong goes to Molde. She has the hot hand. Samoylenko. Yes! Lena Samoylenko now with 30 points. Wow. What a performance here for Samoylenko. We were talking about this in the open ish. I mean, can Samoylenko repeat that 30 point performance? She had 35 in the first game. She's at 30 now. Samoylenko did not even hit that ball uh, with so much power. Luna with a first oh, so Jeremy Luna has been so effective with that play-ish. Dina Wong taking a look at the blockers first.
first before setting it to Cherry Nuna. That's what Coach Oliver wants from her. Take a look at that. It has worked a lot of times here for Choco Mucho. Those running hits. Nine points for Cherry Nuna. Back row, Samoylenko. Tang Ponce picking it up. Back row, Alieva, yes! <laughs> oh. Alieva asking for that set from Dina Wong, and she gets it to go. Delivers for Choco Mucho. Take a look at that on the replay. Going zone one again, and targeting Chin Chin, Chin, Chin Basas. Wow, what a hit. Now it's a five-point advantage back to the biggest lead of the Flying Titans in set number four. Chance ball for Choco Mucho. Catolentino blocked by Cepalios. Yeah, no, no. That's the right call. Pancake save not good, says Numer Pajarillo, our first referee. So Cepalios will be credited with a block again. Fiona Cepalios. 11 points off the bench today. Yeah, you know all returns, service specialist. Earlier, she served it uh, straight to the net. <laughs> so we'll see if she serves it hard here. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe the tips of the fingers were there for Dina Wong. Uh, but that's a better serve for Heather Dino. Ceballos. That's outside, off the block, point for BLDD, three-point game here. Di Makalangan going to the hot hand here. Ceballos again with another point off of Moldes' block. Three straight points for Ceballos and Coach Oliver acknowledging that they're trying to make a run here. Let's listen in to their timeout. Shoulders, okay, shoulders, okay, small, small naman yun nandito, babantayan yan si Kat, so hindi mawawala yan dyan. One good receive, one good receive tayo ha, naiintindihan, and pag nagkabalikan ball, huwag magbalik, call out, and coverage tayo, okay? Girls, we have to believe that we will win, we have to believe. Go. Okay, one, two, three, fight it! Coach Oliver throwing up a specific play right there for Dino Wong and Choco Mucho. He wants a big quick, an open set, and an outside hit to the opposite pin to Isa Molde. And that at the end of it all, there's Alieva waiting for the pipe attack. But he is asking for a perfect reception first. Let's see if they deliver right here. Three-point lead for Choco Mucho. Heather Ginoa, her second serve. Oh, beautiful Perfect. serve. That's a beautiful serve. Beautiful serve coming from Heather Ginoa. And that's why she's inside the court yeah. right now. <laughs> Delivering the goods for Coach George Pasqua. And they, they are trying to make a run here. And I'm sure Coach George Pasqua wants to have that momentum for yeah. his squad. Another great serve. Catolentino. Samarilenko picking it up, Dimakulangan chasing after it, Heather Dinoa with an easy over. Chance ball for the Flying Titans. Nunag, Cepalios picking it up, Dimakulangan goes back row, Samarilenko, <laughs> yes! Two straight points for PRDT, it's a one-point game. Wow, Samarilenko coming alive here. And the crucial juncture of set number four. They want to win this in four sets. And she saw that seam right in between the block of Talentino and Lunag. They're just down by a point here, 22 to 23. <laughs> Des Cheng is back in the game for Choco Mucho. Ginoo with another serve. Lazaro Revilla with a great receive. Got Talentino! Exactly what Choco Mucho needed. This is two set points for the Flying Titans, 24-22. That's what Coach Oliver has been trying to call for Choco Mucho. That's set to the pin to either Cantolentino or Descheng. Earlier it was Molde, and they 
executed it perfectly because of the perfect pass. Set point here for Choco Mucho, Death Cheng on deck. Let's see if they extend it to set number five. Arado, this is another chance ball for Choco Mucho. Can they finish here? Wong, Alieva, not just yet. Reyes, block. Great anticipation at the net, and the crowd erupts inside the Dress Sports Arena in Pasig City as Choco Mucho stays alive in this matchup, winning the third set. Wow, take a look at that replay. What an emphatic kill from Pat Tolentino. Calciera, the floor of PLDT, and we are going to a decider here. Wow, you have come alive here, Eric. And set number five coming right up. 25 to 22, Choco Mucho extending it to set number five. We will be back for more action here. Choco Mucho bouncing back in set number four and ties it at two sets apiece with BLDT. So off to a fifth set we go. But before that, let's check highlights of the fourth set ish. Set number four going Choco Mucho's way. Alieva coming alive for Choco Mucho and Catalintino uh, together with Dina Wong. Really delivering the goods for Coach Oliver Almadro and Choco Mucho. PLDT had a hard time starting well and starting right for Coach George Pasqua and PLDT. Nabanggit uh, nga ni Coach Oliver kanina. Uh, let's take advantage of Samuel Lenko trying to, you know, breathe properly in this set. Na medyo uh, nagahabul na nga na hininga. And in that set, Jen Terrer started for Choco Mucho and did well actually for Choco Mucho. But Dina Wong at the latter part of that set entering uh, the frame and helped Choco Mucho win that set against PLDT. As we take a look, a look at set number four statistics, dikit lahat eh, no? 16 attack points for Choco Mucho, 15 for PLDT, block points two apiece, a service ace for BL PLDT, none for Choco Mucho. And I think dito tayo nagkatalo, no, Eric. The opponent errors, yeah. seven given by PLDT and only four. Uh, given by, P uh, by Choco Mucho to PLDT in that set number four win. You got to remember, set number three, PLDT won. They only had three errors. They, they're back to seven, and they lose. It's uh, That's PLDT's weakness. That's something they need to address. It's going to be a short, the fifth set, obviously. So um, they have to, to really make the adjustments early and before they get themselves in trouble. Earlier in that report from uh, Lexis Tinsai, uh, Rhea Di Makulanga knows that that's their problem. The consistency yeah. of their squad. Uh, one set, we're up and we're really pumped up. And then the next set, we're trying to catch up because we are, uh, you know, committing a lot of errors right. and we cannot execute properly. So that's really uh, what we need to work on here in this conference. And let's see if just in the nick of time here in set number five, they make the right adjustments. They start perfectly. And uh, Choco Mucho alongside uh, Alieva and of course uh, the tandem of Ferrer and Dina Wong. Let's see if they try to make a run here and steal this game away from PLDT. Eddie Makulangan and the high speed hitters looking to bounce back after losing to the Cool Smashers in their last game. Meanwhile, Choco Mucho, uh, Cherry Nunag and company, they're eyeing a two game winning streak after beating. The cargo movers in their last game. Cherry Nunag, what a game for her today. Nine points as a starter for the Flying Titans. They are led by Alieva with 24. Tolentino has 15. And Nunag is a third leading scorer. On the flip side, 30 points. Make that 31 points for Samuel Neko 
Well, for Reyes and Ceballos, but Ceballos, that's all off the bench. Fifth set underway, Reyes. Here's Castolentino. Block. Alieva. Ceballos picking it up. Samuelenko back row. There's Scott Tolentino again. And long rally to start set number five. Ceballos. Oh! Over received by Neschek. And Ceballos unable to pick it up. Although Di Makulangan is arguing that it was touched. There was a fourth touch. No, I think they're arguing for an overreach, overreach. call. Because Ceballos was already waiting for the big for the pass to Dimakulangan, pero naglaho yung bola. <laughs> That's what they're trying to argue with the referees, pero no go. Chocomucho getting the first point of the fifth set. Running attack there for Mika Reyes. Samoylenko, no make that. Alieva down the line, yes! Alieva with the hot hand here for Chocomucho going down the line this time around. And Dina Wong with a perfect setup job here. Cut shot with. Hindi nga masyado malakase, pero nakita niya that uh, the defense of PLDT was not there. Let's check in with Alexis Tinsai. According to PLDT's coach George Pasqua, consistency is muscle memory. Pa ulit ulit kailangan and sayuhin ng end game in order to apply it here in the games. If you're disciplined enough off the court, disciplinado ka to have that focus and composure, lalo na sa crucial moments. Naganito. More than that, Coach George told the girls before the start of the set, na kung nasa parehong spot sila to matarget, kaya kailangan nila ng lahat ng blockers magadjust. Kung cross court kailangan nila ng lagyan ng stabilidad ang kanilang cross block. Let's see who among among the tight ends or speed hitters who emerge victorious here in set five. Thank you, Alexis. The defense at the net of Chocomucho has been nothing short of splendid in this rally. Cepalios sends it over. What a save by Des Chen. Catalentino with a push. Floor defense of both teams, excellent. That is going to be long. Samarilego looking tired. And it's a three to nothing start for the Flying Titans. <laughs> Eric, all of them were tired. <laughs> You could see if we have like probably a hundred cameras here in the arena right now. May kita natin lahat sila na paupo na lang eh. That was a very long rally, ending with an unforced error coming from Samuel Lenko. And, and what quality, defense shown? Yeah, the quality of the exchanges as well. Na pagod na lang eh. At the last second, uh, uh, Samuel Lenko, Samuel Lenko could not uh, execute the flick of the wrist. Des Chang with the serve. 3 0 start for Chocomucho. That's an over receive. Ball still alive. Sepalios off the block. Alieva picking it up. Wong to Nunag. Rejected by Mika Reyes. Dina Wong risking that ball, going to Cherry Nunag. Coach Oliver did not like that. What he's telling Dina Wong is you have a hot hand in. Alieva, so just time it to Nunag's approach and then throw it out to either Tolentino or Alieva because these two girls are the hot hands of your team right now. One serving three. Great serve. Underhand set. Alieva attacking. Oh. Alieva, what an angle. Wow. And Coach Oliver right on cue. And Dina Wong from an off system play. Executing the instruction of Coach Almagro in that last play. Ceballos could not handle that powerful attack from the reinforcement of Chocomucho in Alieva. Great pass. Samuelenko. Nudag picking it up. Alieva again. Arado. Wow. Basas. Wong. Back to Alieva. Samuel Lenko, another long rally in the making here. Oh, but Ceballos gets it off the block. Good point right there for Ceballos. This time going for an off the block kill off of Tolentino's block. Both Wong and Dimakulangan utilizing their imports, going almost exclusively to their open hitters. Let's see if they still stick to that game plan right here. Two point game. 
Two players going after the ball, Alieva and Des Cheng. Ceballos gets an ace. It's a one-point game. Alieva picking it up. Ceballos with a great dig. Samoylenko. Des Cheng picking it up. Alieva. Oh, way too low. And the game is tied at four. Just like that. Three straight points for PLDT. And we are tied here at four and four. And <laughs> set number five, Eric. That angle was too difficult to execute for the import of Choco Mucho in Alieva. 14 points for Cepalios, but she sends that out. So Choco Mucho back on top by one. Do these, right there. these errors, PLDT cannot afford in the fifth set. PLDT cannot afford those errors because doon nakakakuha ng momentum itong Choco Mucho and of course the breather that they need, they're giving it freely to the Flying Titans in set number five. Dimakulangan to Samoylenko down the line. Catolentino with the up. Catolentino gets it back. She doesn't like it. Easy over. Reyes partially deflected. Des Cheng back row. Dimakulangan back to Samoylenko. That's outside as well. Lena Samoylenko is upset herself. This is Samoylenko's time to make an error. That she did not like that set, <laughs> uh, to put it bluntly. Uh, she was asking for a, a bit of a faster set in that uh, sequence, pero Dimakulangan tried to set it a bit high. Two-point lead for Choco Mucho. There you go, Samuelenko again. Time points was right there. Alieva. Down the line, what a dig for Ceballos. Samuelenko again. Catolentino through the block. Samuelenko. That's outside still. Back to back attack errors for Samuelenko. And it's a three point lead for Choco Mucho. Mika Reyes, Andrea de Macolangan trying to calm Samuelenko down, saying it's okay, it's okay. We're still in this. And that's back-to-back -back errors for the import of PLDT giving a three-point lead here in set number five. This is big. This yeah. is big. They have to take advantage of this lead. Talking about Choco Mucho here. Imakulangan goes to the other side. Basas with the push. Stan Ponce. Alieva. Cross court. Outside. Yeah. Alieva's turn to give some three points up. And PLDT will gladly take it. What about Tang Ponce, Eric? Yeah. Substituting from time to time for Denden Den Lazaro Revilla here. A lot of uh, digs here in set number five. She started to come in for Denden Den in set number four, and so far she's done a really good yep. job for Choco Mucho. Micareas, 13 points in the game. Ortiz is blocked. Alieva. Samoylenko picking it up. Lena. Lazaro. Reyes. Palomata. She was on the way down when she tipped it. Basas. Yes! Wow. Basas going cross court. We haven't heard a lot uh, from her. We haven't seen a lot uh, from Basas in this game. Uh, that third set performance, that fourth set performance, she was not there yep. for PLDT. And this time around, a crucial point delivered for Coach George Pasqua and for PLDT. Seven points for Basas, four in the first set. Wong back to Olieva. Outside. Oh no, it's on the line, says our lines judge. Yep. Huge shot for Olieva. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And Alieva, great recognition right there. Uh, she noticed that she was getting checked when she went cross court and when she went deep down the line. So she, she tried to just attack the ball on top of it. 
and successful in that attempt. Samuelenko with a soft touch and she gets it. Samuelenko looking up to the sky and saying, finally. Huge sigh of relief for Samuelenko. Earlier, a couple of miss hits from her. This time around, just going for the tip and delivering the goods for PLDT. One point game, seven serving eight. Wong to Des Cheng. Arado. Samoylenko power tip. Yes, Samoylenko ties the game at eight. A couple of tips here. A couple of dump balls from Samoylenko. That's what's worked for her so far here in this decider set. Take a look at that power drop shot here from Samoylenko. Eight all here in set number five. A very tight game. Yep. Bea De Leon is back in the game for Choco Mucho. Only has one point. De Leon after scoring 11 against F2. And there is De Leon making her presence felt. Right off the bench is Bea De Leon with her familiar top of the chest right there. Walk going back quick. Nine to eight, Eric. <laughs> crunch time here, crunch time. De Leon serving. One point lead for Choco Mucho. Nine eight. Fifth set. Samoylenko. Des Cheng. Ooh, Desley Cheng delivers. Makes it a two point lead for Choco Mucho. Des Cheng finally connects from that dig. And Dina Wong with a perfect box set. That's what they need to do. Both PLDT and Choco Mucho, they have to defend properly. And then that third touch, that attempt, they have to convert it. Because a lot of those digs, napakahirap na gawin eh. In this set number five, lahat tayo, lahat sila pagod na. So, uh, kapag may chance na sila to score a point with that dig, just do it. Just go for it. No hesitations. Not a good pass for Basas. Oh, but Samoylenko with that flick of the wrist. Getting a point off Alieva. It's a one-point game. Samoylenko steady for PLDT in the last a couple of sequences here in set number five. Earlier, uh, the earlier parts of set number five, talagang she struggled. Pero from points five to ten, she saw herself just dumping the balls, just going for not so powerful hits, and it has worked for PLDT. Thirty-four points for Lena Samoylenko, a point shy of her season high in the reinforced conference. Underhand set, Des Cheng. That was short. Jesse De Leon in the game for the first time, and De Leon with a block. Wow. What a block from Jesse De Leon. Both De Leons <laughs> delivering for PLDT and Choco Mucho earlier. But it was Bea De Leon with an attack point, and this time Jesse De Leon with a block point. We are tied here 10 10 in set number five. And timeout by Choco Mucho. We'll listen in to the huddle of Coach Almadro. Okay, now, Coach Oliver wants his team to calm down, to be positive still. And both of these teams just five points away from a win. And let's see who takes this home. It is crunch time now. Ten all. Race to five between these two teams. Arado picking it up. Semana. Soyud. What a, what a dig there for Tolentino. Alieva, Semana picking it up. Arado will play setter. Back row, Samoylenko. Blocked by Munad. What a save by Alieva. Chance ball for PLDT. Semana 
Back to Soyud with a tip. Wong keeping it alive. Rebilla, Des Cheng. Another long rally in the making. Samoylenko is blocked. Oh, 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 oh. What a defensive play. Des Cheng doing it on both ends of the floor, giving Choco Mucho a one point lead. No one giving up here on both sides, but it was Des Cheng with the last laugh. A block against Samoylenko. No coverage right there for PLDT. One point lead here for Choco Mucho, and Des Cheng is fired up. Desiree Cheng. Six points off four attacks and two blocks. Served by Wong. Chance to tie for Soyud. Power dump is good. <laughs> Soyud. <laughs> A huge sigh of relief. <laughs> you just saw from Soyud. And coach, Coach Pasqua. Napatalon because of that 50 50 ball. Yeah, that was, uh, you know. Breaks up the game, Eric. <laughs> 11 all. Race to four now as Jesse De Leon gets ready to serve. Ooh, that was way long. Right from the beginning. You could tell that was going out. Yeah, that was dangerously long. Uh, but uh, we could see it going out from our angle. So Jesse De Leon served it right away. So Choco Mucho up by one. BLDD, they need one good pass here to stay alive. <laughs> Des Cheng. Yeah, he, he took a deep breath there, trying to calm herself down, get a good serve in. And she does. Semana. Cepalios with the dump. Saved by Wong. Alieva outside. Is there a block touch? Alieva asking for it. Lumer Parilla says, hang on, no, 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 no block touch. No, oh. and there is no challenge system in place just yet. It will be implemented sometime in the reinforced conference, so Coach Almagro can't do anything but accept the call. Yeah, 12 all. Mm, take a look here, only we can review it. Officials are not going to change it. Oh, oh there was. And clearly a touch on Nico Reyes. <laughs> the referees are stoning. <laughs> yep. It was the wrong call, and the crowd knows it. 12 ball. Alieva will try again. This time gets it. It gives Nico Barrio the look. Yeah. She did not uh, try to make a pass after that wrong call. Sabi niya, it is what it is. Let's play on. And that's what veteran imports do. You really just need to stay on it, just focus, and do your best for the team. <laughs> you cannot blink here. <laughs> Madi Madayag to serve for Choco Mucho, leading by one, 13-12. Good serve. Samoylenko back row. Oh, Woo! she found the mark again. Samoylenko, how many times has she been the hero for BLDT? 35 points already. She ties her season high. Nerves of steel here in set number five for both our reinforcements in Samoylenko and Alieva. Let's see who emerges as the victors in this game. Alieva. Oh, the block of Reyes, and it is match point. Choco Mucho, 14-13. Alieva doing it all for Choco Mucho. This time, squeezing it in between the block of Mika Reyes. But there's a timeout called here, called by Coach George Pasqua. It's time to listen in. This time out.
last effort for PLDT here. They will be on the receiving end of a serve by Cactolentino. They need a good pass. They need a good execution of a play. Will it be Samoylenko? That's the question, Ish. That is indeed the question. But first, Cactolentino needs to serve this <laughs> inside the court of PLDT if we're going to have a play. And there it is. Samoylenko will get it. Samoylenko hits. Now a chance for Chokomucha to close it out. Alieva, she is blocked. What a save. This time on the defensive end for PLDT. Coach Oliver Almadro had a change up at the last minute. Dina Wong blocking on the opposite side, leaving Alieva right there at the opposite pin, right in front of Samoylenko. So they went toe to toe. And we are tied here at 14 apiece, Eric. <laughs> what a game. And there's a timeout. Coach Oliver, let's listen in. We have to cover, do you understand? Now, pag hindi na matay, bumalik sa atin. Huwag tayo magmadali sa balak at paano nila. Depensa niyo mahaba. Let's go, girl! So what's the plan here for Choco Mucho, Ish? The plan here for Choco Mucho is the same. Uh, Coach Oliver wants a good pass. Uh, he wants Bea De Leon for uh, an a quick or a back quick and then just a throw out to Alieva. Let's see if they have that perfect pass first for the execution of such a play. Nicareas with one ace served in the third set. There's a receive. Alieva will get it. Alieva unable to close it out. Samoylenko is blocked. A chance ball here. There's Chang, Wong, they go to Alieva. Blockers are there. Dig by Cepalios, Samoylenko, Revilla. Who tense moments here for fans of both teams. Chance ball for PLDT. Jesse De Leon wow. puts PLDT at match point. Woo. What a time for that play. Coming from Rea de Bacolacan. Only veteran setters would risk going to such a play at fourth in all and transition play you go to a quick play and i'm sure bea de leon and coach oliver did not expect that play and i credit that point to rea de Bacolacan. what a risk she took in that play serve is good wong alieva she ties the game saves a match point 15 all <laughs> race to 17. no one blink <laughs> off the block off of Chin Chin Basas's block Alieva with 30 but Eric right now she is at a back row Samoylenko has 36 Whoa, ho, ho. it's outside Lena Samoylenko a crucial error and Choco Mucho is, is back at match point they are back at match point De Leon and Demacolangan trying to pacify the frustrations of Samoylenko. She's upset with herself. That's why coach George Pasqua calls for time. It is anybody's set, anybody's match. Uh, right now, Choco Mucho, their second match point here. And you don't, you don't have to be a genius to figure out that Samoylenko is going to get a chance here to hit it if they get a good pass. They are at an advantage here in this rotation. They have Samuel Lenko in front and serving for Choco Mucho is their reinforcement, Alieva. Easy serve for Alieva. Basas. Oh, wow. Off the block. Rea Dimokolangan took the risk. She did not opt to go to Samuel Lenko. 
going to Basas, and it did not pay off. What a great blocking for Chocomucho to seal that win for the Flying Titans. 17 to 15 in set number five. What a block. Des Chang with her third block of the match. What a time for it to come. Denying Basas, and he said it is. Dimakulangan went for a different play because he was expected that Samuelenko was going to get it. But the lone lady blocker, Des Cheng, was prepared for the alternative. And what a defensive play for Choco Mucho to get a win here. They're second in a row. Presence of mind for Des Cheng earlier. A lot of digs from her. And when it was time for her to be in front, she blocked and she attacked for Choco Mucho. Ray Demokalangan right off the bat knew that she took a risk. When Basas was blocked, she apologized right away, but owned up to it. Uh, but that win, credit that win to the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. They earned it, and Alieva really leading the pack here. What a win for Choco Mucho. And take a look at Alieva and her performance here today. It's going to be a season high for her. 30 points for Otina Alieva. A lot of those points coming in tail end of that set number five win. And of course, she asked for those balls. She did ask for those balls and she delivered for Choco Mucho. Nerves of steel for the import. And of course, our player of the game, Odina Alieva, delivering the goods and bringing home the bacon here for Choco Mucho. What a performance. 27 attacks, three blocks for Alieva. Coming up on Saturday, we're going to be at the, uh, the City of Santa Rosa Multipurpose Complex in Laguna. We kick things off with Petrogas Angels at 2.30 going up against the Akadi Chargers. And in our second game, Greenland Cool Smashers at 5.30 taking on the Signal HD Spikers. So all going to be live on One Sports. Earlier today, Cherry Digo crossovers winning over the Akari Chargers. And in our second game today, another five-setter, the second of two five-setters. A big win for Choco Mucho against BLDT. Thanks to our director, Al Neri, for Alexis Tinsai. My partner is Paul Barros. I'm Eric Tipan. Thank you for watching our coverage of the reinforced conference of the Premier Volleyball League right here on One Sports.